If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. 
Not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I'm just standing, it's just, well, I didn't swear or anything, is it? The lights are still on, the door's still open. Hello, good morning. <laughs> it's just as well, because Hannah and I were just having a conversation. Imagine if I'd said anything about Hannah's personal life while you were there. My mic's what? Is it on now? Oh, I do apologise. I know what happened. Yeah. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. I do apologise about that. Luckily, luckily. Oh, there you go. I was on a loop, apparently. Anyway, should we start with the early bird? <laughs> and it's having a meltdown this morning. Here we go, then. Today's early bird. It don't look much. But it's rather gorgeous. Now, I think my friend Dawn's um, bridesmaid's dress is made out of something like this. It's rather luscious, isn't it? It's obviously a dressmaking fabric. It's fabric by the half metre. It hasn't been cut. We will bring the graphics in in a second so I can tell you more about it. There we go. Shelly Chalice. Plush pink viscose fabric. Um, three pounds? Three pounds saving, right? Four ninety nine. this is. Four ninety nine. No, no, everyone's meant to. Oh, hello. Were well, you not expecting us? Good morning. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, it, blame Elliot, blame Elliot. Just, I'm so glad I wasn't wittering on like I normally am before we start. Yeah, no, but they could have told by my facial expression, couldn't they? Anyway, here we go, 4 99 £4.99 for half a metre, lovely pink chalice. Pop it in your basket, once you paid your P&P, that's you paid for for the day. Oh, I'll have to watch that on YouTube later, just see how stupid I look. Yeah. No, I didn't say anything, I wasn't saying anything, I was just standing there looking gormless into the... What? Did you hear me say, your light's still on? 
Get your lights in on, Anna. The door's open. Oh, how funny, John. I thought my TV had frozen. Thank you very much indeed. Was I just, I was just standing there, wasn't I, looking into the distance? Hey, what? He's checking the YouTube now to make sure he couldn't hear anything. I didn't say anything. I just stood there looking gormless. Jan! Jan, we're a bit late. Wake up. It's ten past eight. Jan! Wake, wake up, Jan. Wake up, Jan. Right, okay. There's lots of people multiplying this one. It's very, very lightweight and beautiful. Look, 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 look. It's gorgeous and flimsy and very sensual. Make a lovely summer scarf, this. Do you know what I mean? Lovely. I love the blush-coloured pink. It's got some blue in there, hasn't it? It's got, definitely got some blue in there. Delphine! <coughs> Delphine's watching. Morning, lovely John and team. Watching for taking the boys out to Child Cup Park. Oh, it's nice there, isn't it? Uh, well done, everyone, for checking out on this already. The early bird special, Shelly Chalice, blush pink, viscose. $4.99 for half a metre. I know. Don't worry. Because uh, I was waiting for Elliot to come in and fix the other iPad, you see. I've had to open my own up now. It's, it's all right, Elliot. You see, now, Elliot, if you'd had a coffee from Starbucks, first thing, none of this would have happened. Laurie says, morning, John and team. Loving your shirt. Thank you, Laurie. Hydrangeas, I think, isn't it? Anyway, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through for that. I shall have to watch that later. We've made Helen laugh. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, four ninety nine. Could you hear Hannah at all during that bit? Hannah's a little bit worried because she did say something derogatory about Elliot. Well, not derogatory, just you know what he was up to. Here we go. Alice Marion's watching now. Mama Bebe, keep going through for this. Remember, it's a lovely, lovely chalice. Uh, every single person has multi-bought. There's your half a metre. Oh, let's have a look at the width, actually. It looks quite wide. Oh, yes, it is. Look. Oh, everything's on pre-order now. If you were looking earlier, everything's on pre-order now. We had issues with the, with the old um, computer this morning. Look at that. It's like, it looks it's almost like uh, parachute silk. It's not because it's viscose. Viscose is a man-made fibre but used natural products, so it's very good because it's a breathable fabric. Lovely for when in the hot. What, what? There's a heat wave coming, apparently. Jan says, good morning, John and everyone. Couldn't you hear me saying you were alive? Oh, everyone was saying I was like, yeah, it's Elliot. Blame Elliot. Morning, John and Cara. Um, Elliot's here as well. And Hannah's here. <laughs> Hannah's, uh, not Hannah, uh, uh, Elliot. <coughs> <coughs> Elliot's sweating like a pig now, he says. Well, it was, a, you know, it's been one of those mornings. Wasn't as bad as yesterday morning, but it's been one of those mornings. Oh. Beautiful. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I'll step out of shot. Jackie uh, says, morning, John and team. Jackie, Jackie, sending you lots of love. And you're Dave. Keep going through. Keep go oh, look, fat for stand sideways, don't I? Well, go on then. If you must. Well, it wouldn't be that way round anyway. Four ninety nine. Keep going through. You're like a steam train coming in for this this morning. Happy Wednesday, says cousin Susan. Happy Wednesday, my lovely. Keep going through though. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm a bit coffee now, aren't I? <coughs> it's because I haven't had a Starbucks, you see. Stitch Don says, good morning, John and all. Good morning, Stitch Don. That's a new one for me, Stitch Don. I've only seen that the last couple of days. Four ninety nine. <coughs> Quarter of the stock has been checked out. Okay, keep going through, keep going through, keep going through on that one. We're about, oh. Shall I just tell you what the menu is? Let me sit. Okay, we've got a menu. Uh, there's a few issues this morning. The screen in here has gone black, but it'll be fine, I'm sure. 
Now, this fabric, Hannah, did you fold this fabric last night? Yeah. Right, oh, I'm back. So <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days today, isn't it? Is the menu ready? Two seconds, everybody. Morning, says Princess. How are you, Princess, my lovely? Right, I can start reading it. You don't have to see it. The first hour is Fabulous Fabrics. Got some brand new Dan Morris for you. Lucy says, good morning, John. Back home from Festival of Quilts. Just wasn't the same without you there. Looking forward to having you company today. Claire says, good morning, John Doyle. One of my favourite shirts. Elizabeth says, morning, lovelies. Let's all have a good day. Well, it's not started off very well, Elizabeth, but we will. Nine o'clock. Now, this isn't, this isn't right. It's not called jumper skirt. Yeah, in the book, it's called a V-neck jumper skirt with Cara Ackerman. It's from this brand new book we've got. Hannah's been trying the things on this morning. Ja oh, there you go, Jan. I did wake Jan up. That's good. There it is. Now, you don't get the T-shirt underneath, obviously. It's just a very, very plunging neckline. Hannah did try it on without a T-shirt this morning. Oh, there she is. Because she thought she was Faye on Love Island. It's very much the kind of dress that Faye would wear on Love Island, that one. Uh, then moving on, we've got bag making at 10 o'clock. There's no uh, demo, it's just me and all the stuff to buy. There's lots of uh, Becky Alexander Frost stuff in there. Then at 11 o'clock, we're doing the Starburst tote bag. Now, it doesn't have to be a tote bag. It can be a cushion. There it is. There's the bag. There's the cushion. Got it in four different colourways for you. Oh, the bag to the bag. Uh, back to the cushion. Uh, we've got four different colourways there for you. Oh, there's the cushion again. Oh, oh there's a video as well. No wonder we relate coming on air. What did Cara say? Don't do close, too, don't go too close on the stitches. Anyway, it's fine. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't say that. Right, and then what's the last hour? Hang on, there's another hour to do yet. On the menu. On the menu. Yarn Lane. It was meant to go on pre-order, but our gremlins came in and we couldn't. It will go on pre-order. I'll let you know. It's 20% off all the books we've got on the whole show. There's no, there's no knitting or no sno snowing. <laughs> there's, no, there's no knitting or snowing. There's no knitting or crocheting. It's all books, but it's 20% off everything. There's, there is one. Hannah's got this one, right? And it's, it's, I think it's called Crochet Your Heroes. And you know Prince, the singer? Purple Rain. That Prince. You can crochet him. You could also crochet, who else? Was Jane McDonald in there as well? I think she was, wasn't she? Oh, no, it wasn't. Rita, oh? Fr oh, Frida Kahlo's in there. <laughs> Rita from the cabin. She's not in there, sadly. Sue says, morning, John and crew. Looking good this morning. The tote bag looks very interesting. Lots of love to everyone. Lynn says, good morning, John. Loving the shirt. Anne says, morning, everyone. John, the day can only go up. Send out for coffees. Uh, do you know what, Anne? If there was anybody here... We would send out, but we're the only people in the building, right? Love the starburst pattern, so clever, says Julie. That's coming up at uh, 11, Julie. Right. Uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. You can send me an email. Again, email. Studio at sidestreet.com. Studio at sidestreet.com is your email. They will go through to Hannah and she will read them out to me. If you want to send uh, me a message on Facebook Live, you can do. They're all the ones I've been shouting out while I've been sitting here. And uh, then uh, you can also send them via the website. So if you want to go to the website, www.sidestreet.com. No, no, because I was about to say Juki, because there was a Juki machine in my vision, and I was about to say Juki. <laughs> say what you see, that's what they say, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, click on watch, the watch Live. Watch live. And then uh, you scroll to the right-hand side. No, you don't scroll. Go to the right-hand side. Send a message in the white box there. And these are the ones that come up on my bottom later. What's she writing? Hello, I'm Hannah and I'm sweating. No, that's Elliot that's sweating. Lovely. And then you send it and that will go as a white box across my bottom. Now, if you scroll down the page, you will see that, that we will, well, in a minute, we will have two columns. One column on the left will say uh, show deals, today's show deals. The one on the right will say pre-order. The show deals are anything that we've shown so far. Everything else that's under pre-order. Look, brand new Dan Morris. Brand new Dan Morris. Bom dia, says that Marcia. Uh, then we've got all sorts of fabrics in there. We've got some Miss It, Miss Outs. There, now, they're all gorgeous, right? Dan Morris fabrics there. Keep going up. 
These here, the sun, wild, moon, child, end, end, miss it, miss out, miss it, miss out, miss it, miss out, miss it, miss out, Michael Miller. Where's the Frida fabric? I love the Frida fabric. Keep going. Oh. No, this one here. Where is it? There it is. There it is. I love that. I love that uh, fabric. Anyway, keep going down, down. Roll, roll down, scroll down, scroll down. So then Cara's with us. There's a new book. Cotton Friend Sewing, it's called. Anyway, that's, uh, how much is it? I don't even know how much it is. 12, oh, 12.99. 12.99. Keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. Lots of oh, that tape measure I've got now. I'll start with that. Keep going down, keep going. There's the fabrics that we've got, the corduroy. Now, the first thing uh, Cara said when she came in, oh, this corduroy is lovely, she said. This cord, it's eight whale corduroy. There are three metre bundles, which would make you the biggest size of the dress that we're doing. Or if you just want to buy it by the half metre, you can do it. There's three cotton fabrics in there as well. Then we get onto the bag making hour. Oh, I thought those zips sold out yesterday. Oh, no, they're eight inch yesterday, nine inch today. Becky Alexander Frost, we've got PU, we've got all sorts of gorgeousness there. Uh, furniture, uh, bag furniture. Loads, 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 loads. Eau de coat, eau de coat. Then these are the panels to make the. There's the book that the, the Starburst uh, cushion is out of. There's we got the there's the bundles as we sell in the panels on their own as well. Oh, they're different panels. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They're different panels. I just wonder what you were saying. That was all. No, John. There, anyway, there are four different colorways. Anyway, we'll carry on. We'll show you all those when we come to the time. Uh, more bits and bobs. And then that's it because we go to Yarn Lane then. Yarn Lane is not on pre-order yet. Um, but it will be very, very shortly when Hannah can get in there. Uh, Lowe says, morning, John and everyone, on this very lovely day. Is it a lovely day, so? Oh, no, the sunrise over Studley this morning was gorgeous. Anyway, uh, let's start, shall we? I'm going to start with the tape measure. I love this. The hemline gold tape measure. You just saw it there on the website. Did you say don't? I know, 60 inches, 150 centimetres, I love it because it's the black, well, it's called hemline gold but it's actually still got the silver coloured uh, task on it, it's lovely, Look, I've got to take it out. Yeah, yeah, the gold range but everything else in the range is black and gold, Elliot. Hang on, are you sitting away from your chair? Okay, Jay in the West Midlands. Oh, yeah, well, tell me more about the book in the car as hour. Was there, why, was there a, a, a difficult question? <coughs> oh, yeah, we'll tell, you about it. we'll tell you all about the book in the hour, I'm afraid. I, can't took, I haven't got it here now. It's in car as hour. Um, anyway, look, it, it doesn't go to huge sizes, just so you know. It doesn't go into any... Got a message on the bottom. Hi, John, tried your baked bean recipe, not bad. Oh, Sylvia, thanks. Everyone thought it was disgusting here. I love it. This is a lovely tape measure. Right, because it's really kind of wide and chunky, isn't it? Oh, well, you're not here for the baked bean recipe. Sure. Okay. Anyway, 169, that tape measure. <coughs> oh, there you go, it's almost the same. I don't have any tuna, obviously, because I don't eat fish, but um, yeah, so all it was was have toast, butter, uh, man, no, toast, butter, mayonnaise, chopped tomatoes, cucumber and red onion, baked beans on the top. It's nice. Right. Third of the stop and tape measure's gone. See, I told you we should start with that. See, Hannah told me, do not start with the tape measure. Do not start with the tape the, Oh, Leslie, uh, panel of the week, I think he's back next week. It's next week. But basically, we've just got to catch up on stock. So many sold <laughs> that we, we sold more than we planned, you know. Dan Morris Bundle is over here. Here we go. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. Now, can you guess which one Hannah likes best? That's... So, Leslie, the panel of the week will be back soon, I promise. 
Right, so the bundle here is four metres of fabric, 58, uh, 59, sorry, oh, so taking a pound off then, 59.92. 59.92. They're beautiful, aren't they? I like this one. Oh, mind you, I like that one as well. They're all nice. 59.92, they are all available by the half metre, but this is your mega bundle. It's called South West Reflections. I know they're lovely, aren't they? Really lovely, kind of earthy colours with a bit of uh, turquoise or um, kind of thrown in just as a little highlight there. Tilly says, good morning, everyone. She's, Tilly, have you bought your house yet? She's got a menagerie. When she buys the house, she's got dogs and ducks and goats and chickens. They have to, no, they don't come with the house, she has to take them with her to buy the house, but she's got to find enough a house with enough room for them all to go in. If anyone's got a nice house in Lincolnshire with a pond... Marina says, good morning, gorgeous morning, Marina. 59.92 for this mega bundle. It's a limited collection, this one, limited collection. 59.92. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. It's all of that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for 59.92. I have fewer than 20 bundles now already at 20, oh, it's 25 past eight already. We love Dan Morris. Good morning, John, Hannah and everyone. Loving the shirt. Nice and sunny here just now. Probably rain later. Oh, I'll tell you what, I got home yesterday and it, it was threatening a storm and I knew I had to mow the lawn. So I went out there straight away, mowed all, I don't push, it just goes... And literally, I just finished, look gorgeous. Now I'm going to ride on. And literally, the rain came down just after I'd finished. It was perfect. Anyway. $59.92. Right. What would you like to see first? We'll do the suns first. Okay, don't sing, Hannah. Yes, you've got a very loud microphone now. No. It means I can hear every letter that Hannah types and she's typing up. And yesterday she did a lot of typing during the show. Right, here we go. For uh, £7.49 for half a metre. This is where you buy it off the bolt. So if you want to make a skirt or use it as the back of a quilt or something, or a board or a quilt, you need more than half a metre. Oh, a waistcoat. <coughs> is Derek watching today? Uh, 7.49, or an Yvonne waistcoat. But she, Yvonne doesn't just use a straightforward fabric. She uses, what did she call them? Uh, yeah, but they've got a romantic name, not just leftover blocks. It was a romantic name, isn't it? Oh, Tilly hasn't found her house yet. Loving these fabrics, she says. Right, so what is it? It's a big sun and a medium sun and a little sun on black. No, 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 if you look, they're like, what Dan Morris does is he take, kind of takes batik prints, but doesn't, bat, they're not batik, it's a print, you see. But the, be, the background of the suns look like a batik, don't they? Mottled, I don't know where he is, there he is. £7.49 for half a metre. Don't have one of Hannah's. Oh, yeah. Hannah and I have both brought in boiled eggs today. She's brought in boiled potatoes as well. 7.49. Message from Carol. Good morning, John and team. Lots of lovely fabric again today. Very wet and low clouds in Sutherland. Oh, I'm not coming to say if it's cloudy, Carol. Right, next one is the kind of... Um, Yellowy cream background, ending 57. They are very, I, I'm now I'm not sure, if, are we allowed, I'm so not very good at what words we're allowed to use and what words I'd, <coughs> I'd say they're very aztec -y too. <coughs> but I don't, like Atawulpa, Atawulpa from Royal Hunt of the Sun, that's what they're like, aren't they? Atawulpa Inca. 
at our wall per Inca. Royal Hunt of the Sun, 1979, Chester Gateway Theatre. Thank you very much. Lots of this one was selling on pre-order. Oh, thank you, Marcia. Orphan blocks, that's what they're called. <laughs> I thought it was something a bit more romantic than that in my brain, but there you go. Thank you, though, for letting me know. Morning, all. John, did you see Secrets of the Museum on BBC Two last night? It was the v &A. It was brilliant. I think you'll love it from Julie. No, Julie, I didn't watch that. I watched Long Lost Family. Lo I watched Love Island, first of all. Last night's Love... The night before's Love Island. I watched that first, and then I watched Long Lost Family. Because somebody messaged me yesterday saying, did you cry over the man yesterday, over the man's story yesterday? I didn't. I think it might be hardening. 7.49. Oh, Tilly did a work placement at the Gateway Theatre many moons ago. Tilly, I grew up in Chester. So it was my theatre. The Gateway Theatre was my, my not my theatre, the theatre I would go to. I'm a lot older than you, though, so I'll have hung out there a lot of time before you did. Anyway, and then when we were on the Cheshire Drama Courses, you know, the residential drama course we went on, Hannah? In Wales, where we... And then we went to do the, um, the show itself at the, at the uh, Gateway Theatre. £7.49. It's lovely, this one, isn't it? This one was very, very popular on pre-order. Remember, it's 100% cotton. Machine washable, quilting weight, 44 inches wide. Now this one's called a rusty kind of colour, this one. I'm not sure if that's what they've called it. They called it autumnal. Yeah, that won't be the real name, would it? Go on then, Elliot. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Feels like a Sunday morning today, doesn't it? What, tell you? Oh dear, he was so chatty earlier this morning, he's now gone all monosyllabic on us. See, I told him he should have had a coffee. Seven pounds and 49 pence. That every morning Hannah wakes up and she asks Google a fact about a different animal. She forgot to do it this morning. Do it now. Oh, it's... A, I don't know what that means. Google home thing. What does that mean? Oh, I'm, I, don't, no, I can't do that because this starts talking to me. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Louise on the bottom. After Zante on Saturday. It'll be strange not watching you every morning. Louise, Louise, they have us in Zante. I do a Greek version. Yes. Efereso, Efereso. <laughs> Hannah said the only Greek word she knows, feta. I said it in a Greekish accent. I apologise to any of our Greek viewers. Oh, how lovely. Have a brilliant time, Louise. Uh, how many weeks is it till I go to Kefalonia now? If I go on the 11th, 11th of um, September, it's about a month away, isn't it? Four or five weeks away now. Um, it's the family holiday. Like, we normally go to California, but we're going to go... Um... Now, do you want to do the big squares or do you want to do the jumbly uprighting? In the... Actually, no, you can't have this. This is my favourite. Oh, no. Yeah, this is my favourite one, this one. The colours are beautiful. I'm seeing astrological signs. Yes. Hannah's seeing crazy pavement. I'm seeing astrological. I'm seeing my crystal ball just here. Anyway, 7.49, what have we called it? Reflections. Blue tribal. No, hang on. Reflections is the collection, isn't it? Blue tribal. Blue tribal. Reflection. <laughs> How many times can we say reflection? At least it's better than yesterday's ducks and geese and chicken, <laughs> chickens and things. <laughs> I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the pattern there. It's lovely, this one, isn't it? 
I'm sort of seeing a caftan as well. Good morning, says Carol. Good morning, says Judith. Deirdre says, oh, I love that fabric, John. It's nice, isn't it? Love the colours in there. I was about to say something really stupid then. I was about to say, you know that jewellery, what's it called? Is that that turquoise colour? Turquoise. Sleeping Beauty. Is it called Sleeping Beauty? No, Sleeping... Hang on, I didn't do turquoise as part of my GIA. I'm sure it's called Sleeping Beauty, isn't it? As soon as says, morning, John, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Been tidying my house. Tidying up already. It's only up a state. My friend I've not seen in ages come around for coffee. <gasps> oh, Susan, I could, could, can I come around for coffee as well? Soy vanilla latte, please. This is lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. June's here, morning all. I'm here, she says, I'm here. Hi, June. £7.49. Can you get some Deliveroo? Can you? Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, but how would they get in the gate? Look, now this one's more... It's still got lovely colours. I've got the turquoise in this. Well, there's the, the speckles of the turquoise, but it's it is, isn't it amazing? Susan says it's amazing fabric, this. This is bohemian tribal reflection, this one. You could consider strips if you wanted to, Elliot, because it does go in stripes. Going, it does. It's not very obvious, but you can see there are definite stripes going up like that. You could do bias binding on it as well. Oh, talking of which, you're going to need to do. You're going to need some fabric to do bias binding in the next hour. You're going to use this, are you? What? So if you buy the cream, um, if you bought the cream corduroy. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? What's the third? Oh, purple. No, don't put it with the purple. Oh, it's suddenly gone very cold in here. Elliot does. I'd love a dress in that one, says um, Deirdre. Deirdre, it looked lovely, wouldn't it? For each drink. No, it's at all. How do they make any money? Right, yo. Uh, now moving on to the last um, design. It comes in three colours. Uh, I'll go to this one first. This is the Rust, ending 39. Be oh. Thirty-nine. I said thirty-nine. No, I said thirty-nine. It's definitely a three. Look how rich that is. That's beautiful. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Love that. I'm, I'm thinking this might be my favourite now. This pattern might be my favourite now. Seven pounds and forty nine pence. Bohemian reflection. Oh, hang on. The lo this was called Bohemian reflection before. What you need to do is you just need to take note of the code. They've called two fabrics the same thing. So please take note of the code of the one that you want. Because both this and the last fabric were both called um, Bohemian reflections. lovely though isn't it that would be a, an amazing button through dress or like a, like a um, Kirsty Olsorp dress she doesn't make dresses but I mean you know the one she wears on location 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 749 for a half a metre <laughs> and it is at 100 metres 100 metres uh, half a metre 749 for half a metre 100% cotton machine washable 44 look at that one, that's so lovely. So that's, again, that's autumnal reflection, same as the last one. Please take note of the code when you're ordering. 
Looks like a tapestry, doesn't it? There's green in that one as well. Love the spa, because there's also turquoise in there as well. 7.49 for half a meter. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, okay. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Whoa, there we go. Getting a bird's eye view now. It's lovely, look. It's really, really good quality cotton as well. Beautiful fabric. And then last but not least with the, within this range, Elliot's feeling better, everyone. He's feeling better because he's being downright rude to me. Not rude, rude. Naughty, not naughty, rude. That rude, rude. Lovely for a skirt. Have to watch the pattern matching, though. Do you know what, Kath? I don't think... If I was making a skirt, I'm not sure if I'd bother pattern matching. I suppose it depends which skirt it is, really. Does it? Seven forty nine for half meter. You see, this one's called Reflections. Black Reflections. Actually, we haven't had the Black Reflections before. It's the only one that's called that. I would say Elliot mowed his lawn as well yesterday when he got in. And he walked around his shed, around the outside. And a what was the other thing he did? Wash the windows. What was the third thing you did? Oh, hung a blind up and you had something to do with windows. Hannah did now have yoga, went to the post office. Oh, she opened up her new Nespresso coffee machine, put it in the kitchen. Is it a black one? Oh, silver, nice. My, the one, one you've got, I had a red one of those. Seven forty nine for half a meter. Do you have coffee before you come out, Elliot, in the morning? Before you leave the house? How, what time do you get up? Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. I just reach another because you know you're going to go to those next mega bundle. All eight of those fabrics get half a metre of each. There you go. 59.92 if you'd like the whole mega bundle. Why? Oh, hang on, hang on, Deirdre, where are you looking? Hang on, we've got an issue. Deirdre wants to know where she can find them. Hang on, can only find them as a bundle, and I want three metres of one of them. If you go onto the website, click on Watch Live. Oh, here you go, I'll show you. Go, click on Live, Watch Live. Go on down, 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 go to Today Show Deals. There they are, there they all are by the half metre. And then the bundle will be, oh, the bundle won't be there at the moment because it's in the, oh, there it is, the bundle's at the top there. So you do have to scroll down. That's the bundle at the top. Scroll down in today's show deals and you'll see all of them there for half a metre, by the half metre. Hope that helps, Deirdre. Yeah, they won't be, they won't, don't go to the website under fabrics because they won't be there. They'll only be on today's show. So you need to go and watch live. That's the bit you need to go to. There you go. Right, moving on. Oh, be careful on, on that. Very, very popular, that bundle. Yeah, now these are also Dan Morris. These are fat quarters. Not the same range. Not the same range. These are fat quarters. 18.99. That's very, very popular this morning. Make sure you check out your basket if you've got it in there. They're fat quarters, remember. 18 99 for five. Beautiful. 
Uh, now, if you have got that in your basket, please be careful. There's lots of you got that in your basket. I've also got it in the browns and creams and purples and rust. Look, $18.99. Beautiful, aren't they? They're fat quarters. Hannah's just saying, well, could you mix it with today's range? I just think the colours are a little bit... Oh, that one might work. But I think the colours might jar. So that might work. But then I like to keep the... I wouldn't mind, personally, I wouldn't want to mix the swirls with the geometrics of that. Yeah, that would work, look. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Anyway, oh, now I've lost, how many fat quarters supposed to be here? Five. <laughs> Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, thank you. There we go. $18.99 for five fat quarters, 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. They called it Adagio Orange, sorry, I called it brown and cream, didn't that's orange. Uh, great fabric, reminds me of the African wax fabric, would really look good as a dress. D, it would. Don't try buying the fat quarters though, make a very, very little dress. Gorgeous. Right. Will we? Because it's a quarter to. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, last of stay wild moon child. Right, not what none of these fabrics have more than 10 meters, right? And we will not be ordering them again. We have got a bundle. Yep, so here we go. This is like rusty red starburst. This was launched by Barbara McClay, who's on with me next week. Stay Wild Moonchild in Shooting Stars on Red. They've called it red. It's definitely not a red. I'd say it was more of a rust. It might look red on your telly, but it's more of a bricky, rusty colour. Good morning, John, from Khaleesi and me, says Shelley. Yeah, it's a granddaughter. Seven pounds and 49 pence, half metre. Remember, I've got less than 10 metres. Once it's gone, it's gone. Lovely, isn't it? What were you saying, Ellie? You can see what? Fireworks. Elliot just suddenly turned into Benny Hill then. Okay, next one. Oh, I love this one. Again, less than 10 metres. <laughs> okay, there's one metre of this one left now. That's it now, one metre left. It's gone. Right, now I've got yellow starburst next. This has got swirls in it and everything. There's six metres this one available. Swirly yellow, what we called it. Or Ooh. Now I definitely wouldn't call it orange. It's definitely not orange. This is orange. Yellow, it's definitely, definitely yellow. But there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 different colours in there. Lovely, isn't it? Okay. Now I've got like shooting stars on white. Why are you singing Barbie? Look. Huh? Stay wild, moon child, in shooting stars on white. 
No, you sent me the address. No, you don't owe me one. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Beautiful. Now, this fabric also comes in a dark blue. Remember, I've got less than 10 metres of all of these. There's only two and a half metres of this one left now. You've been very busy on pre-order this morning. Midnight blue, they've called it. Shooting stars on midnight blue. It's like, it is like fireworks, isn't it? Baby, you're a firework. £7.49 pence <coughs> for half a metre. It's going to go. Now, the last one of this range, Miss It, Miss Out, it's Day Wild Moonchild, are the suns. There's only two metres this one left. Lovely, isn't it, this one? Right, I do just need to remind you of the mega bundle of these ones from earlier. Because it's very, very popular. So you get half a metre of each of these fabrics. Brand new today, Dan Morris. Where did you see them earlier? Yeah. Hang on. There you go. Mega bundle at four meters of fabric, fifty-nine ninety-two. Oh crikey, Deirdre, are you sure? Uh, you know, Deirdre. You know, you can drop it down and it tells you how much there is you can get. She said there's only one of each of them left, one, one metre of each of them left. I can't resist the fabric with the stars. I'm hoping for Sewing Street vouchers for my birthday on Sunday. So I hope it lasts till then. Oh, Jill. Deirdre, if you go to the website, you click on it, it drops down. You can say half a metre, one. Oh, they're units you're seeing. Right, I'll, I'll show you very quickly. Right, so for ex oh, sorry, hang on. Right, so for example, if you're on the website now, let's go to, go down, there they are. Right, so just pick one of those. Right, add to basket. So then your basket's to the bottom right. Click on there and it comes up. Now that's one unit, so that's half a metre. So look, you can then choose. So if you want, say you wanted, th how much have you bought? Four units, that's two metres, <coughs> and then you pay. <coughs> we won't be paying securely because that's Cat's credit card in there. Uh, so there you go. Stuart says, morning, John. In work early today to meet a fabric rep. First one I've met in the, fresh, in the flesh for over a year and a half. Oh, Stuart. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, Deirdre, you should be able to buy that one. EBUQ24. Yeah, it's there, Deirdre. You just need to click on it and it drops down. And that's not per metre, that's per half metre. Okay, moving on. Let me just fold this one up. Sorry, I'll be with you in a second. Oh. No, no, I thought I'd lost the label, that is. I'm a bit worried. Oh, that one there, that's the one that Deirdre wants. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of that, Deirdre. Plenty of that. Right, autumnal bundles. Green one first. This is one and a half metres. Right, and I've only got single figures of this one left. So you get half a metre of your green leaves. Half, we only launched this this week. Half a metre of your sunflowers on green. 
half a metre of your leaves on green. So that mega bundle there, nineteen ninety nine. Morning, lovely, says Sylve, on my way to work. So inconvenient messing with my sewing time. Oh dear. Nineteen ninety nine. They're all green, Elliot. This one here, and what would you use it for? Pocket lining. Oh, it's a bit. Of... You have to. Yeah. That's not what you were saying that earlier. White now. Look. Fresh, isn't it, this one? Oh, what lining? Oh, it might be a bit heavy for a suit lining. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can do cuff linings. You can't do, you can't do cuffs on your suit on it, though, on your jacket. Changed in from a jacket to a shirt without telling me. Do what? It's your job. Then I've also got it on the uh, mulberry. It's only just arrived, this one from the warehouse. It's, it is nice, isn't it, Elliot, that one? <laughs> so uh, apparently the panels for the coat bag oh the tote bag are flying out they're absolutely flying out they're not due till 11 you can make a cushion as well they're on pre-order at 11 o'clock and they're flying out I was doing what? Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, this. And they're beautiful, right? Moving on. Last chance. La Vida Loca memory wall, this one. I love, love, love this fabric. Gorgeous. That would make a lovely skirt, wouldn't it? Big skirt. Michelle says, good morning. I've made the tote bag and it is so beautiful. It is, isn't it? Love memory wall. Love memory wall, this one. Uh, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Okay, very quickly. Cacti. People are loving this one on pre-order. This is, you know, the, I, I know I go on about it, but I love the little shop I found Hannah's um, ter terrarium in. It's like this. It's like this. It's a shop and it looks like this in real life. You go in and it looks like that in real life. Is it what? Oh. 7.49. Oh, you don't go out to yoga, you do it at home. Oh, how brilliant. 7.49. Uh, do you want to do any others before we go?
Right, this one. I'll, show, I'll quickly flash you the other two as well in a minute. Three in a minute. Right. This one's Pastel Multi, this one's called. Pastel Multi. Beautiful. Now, I'm not going to put these through the graphics, but Hannah will put them on to show tunes that are during the break. There's the vases, which are adorable. Yeah, it's in the whole range. It's just what's left, what we've got left. There you go. There's the llamas or the alpacas. And then you've got the lovely tiled stripes. Has Bex got a chili necklace? Rebecca Reed, I mean. And there's that one. Those three will be put through onto show deals in a minute. Oh, Deirdre, I don't know what's happening. It says the drop down only allows me one or remove. Oh, actually, Deirdre, Deirdre, just ring the call centre. It's just round the corner. They'll sort it for you. It's definitely, definitely there. Hannah's just checking. There's definitely some of that stock left. 0800 001 4433. Give them a call. They'll sort it out for you. Right, don't go anywhere because straight after the break, Cara Delavine will be here and we're making this dress. There you go. We always show the picture, Elliot, before we have the next ad before we go for a break. You don't get the T-shirt. That's Cara's own. We will see you with that and Cordroy and Cara Delevingne after the break. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. 
They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Oh, my word. Uh, oh, now, we're making this dress now. Cara Delevingne is with us. <coughs> I call her that all the time. It's not, it's Cara Ackerman, obviously. Making this lovely dress is from a book that we've got brand new clothes I want to wear this winter. And it's called Cotton Friend Sewing. 43 easy to sew and wear clothes. Includes full size pull out patterns. And it's such a lovely book. But I need, we, we will need to talk about, now, who was it messaged in earlier that wants to know about sizing and things like that? Oh, but Ellen's also, hello, I hope you're all well. Please can you tell us what the size range of Cotton Friend Sewing Book? Many thanks in advance. Take care from Ellen in Lancashire. I will do indeed because they range through different sizes. Now, I've just brought the, oh, that's a tight measure there. Right, so let me show you through the book and then when I get to the size range, I'll be able to show you, right? So here's the book. Now, what it is about this book, you see all of these, all of these patterns are in there, but you don't have to just go to the back, look, because if I have it here, look, here we go, Project Gallery. So you've got here your sweater pullovers, your tweed pullover, your tweed dress, your two-way vest. Um, uh, you've got raglan sleeve pullovers. You've got here, this is what we're doing today. Now, it's, it sounds a bit weird because it's called a V-neck jumper skirt. It's not made from a jumper. It's made from either cotton or corduroy or tweed or something like that. They then have other jumpers here. They have skirts and, tr oh, sorry, I'm good at this. Skirts and trousers, ponchos, everything. It uh, 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 snoods. Robe jackets, right, and it goes. It tells you what where everything is in the book. But I'm just going to go through it like this. So the collarless coat is here. So there, that's made out of a big jumbo cord, like the cord we've got here today. Um, you see, and then it's got lots of pictures at the beginning, and it tells you what page the where the instructions are. So these are the um, that's made of fleece. That one. Then you've got layered collared poncho, you've got a snood collar poncho, you've got a kimono coat, which is beautiful. Uh, there's a kimono coat, slightly different version. Now, I wouldn't say that this was, I will check with Cara in a minute, but I was reading this this morning. I wouldn't say it was a beginner's sewing book at all. I'd say you need to have done some dressmaking before you launch into this book. Lots and lots of pictures. Cara came in this morning saying it's a fantastic book. There you go. Now, for each project, you see, so here we go. So on page 13, it says number eight, kimono coat. It tells you how much you need to buy, how much fabric you need to buy. I'll just put that over there. You, how much fabric you need to buy for each size of the outer fabric, the inner fabric, the buttons, everything you need to buy there. And then the sizing here. Now, it says on the coat, that the small is 100 centimetres, that's 40 inches, 100 centimetres. Medium is 106 centimetres, large is 111 centimetres, and LL is 116 centimetres. Now, I think that's because it's cut bigger. So the largest coat you can make from this pa um, pa pattern is 116 centimetre bust, which is 45 and a half inches. 45 and a half inches. Other patterns, have different sizing in them. I'll take I'll take you through it though. Well, carry on looking. So carry on looking at the book there. Then we've got this your two way dress. Then you have got your lovely top. If you love a capsule wardrobe made of all this, is perfect. That's a tweed dress there. It's a very much a look. I always call it a Muji look because that's the shop I always think of when I see things like that. But what were you saying earlier, Hannah? You thought it looked like. Well, did you say it looked like something else? It reminds you of something else. Yeah, like cars and things like that. We thought. Um, so it's very, very kind of um, stylish, very, very simplistic, but stylish. So again, there you've got all the patterns there. I'm going to try and find the one that we're doing today. You see, daily wear made from warm materials. That's a French sleeve tunic. It's all about layering, isn't it? It's all about layering up and everything. Right, this is the one we're making today. 
as you can see, you do need to wear something underneath it because obviously it's a plunging neck and the, uh, the sides at the arm. It's like a medieval, um, oh, I can't remember what they called them now, the bit that goes over the top, the g g g g g it starts with a G. Hmm? No, not a tapot. <laughs> but it could have been a tapot. But anyway, look, so the instructions are on page 82. So I'm just going to jump to page 82 of this one. Oh, um, here we go, 82. Right, so here we go. Oh, that's Salah Pets, 82. Here we go. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. It's not 82 at all. It's 80, this one. Right, so there's how you cut your fabric out. So again, how much fabric you need for each size. Now, the size is on this one. The small is a 90 centimetre, which is 35, 35 and a half inch bust. And the double L is 103, which is just over 40, just over 40 inches. So that's the largest bust size. But now, um, Han Hannah won't mind me saying this. What did you say your bust size was, Hannah? 36 double D, and it fitted her nicely. That she, <laughs> she said 36 double D might not be in the right place, but it's a 36 double D. She put the one on that Cara made, which was the double L, and it was a nice fit. What size dress size do you buy then? Yeah. 12, 12 to 14. 12 to 14. 14. Oh, 14. 14 after lockdown. And it was a nice fit on her. So, so it's not, doesn't go to uh, larger sizes, just so you know. Um, Large and look chic, says Princess. Oh, I love the layering look. Uh, anyway, anyway, so there's lots of... Uh, Cara's going to go through how you will use it because you've got all the patterns in here. And it also tells you where the pattern is. Look, so here on this it says full scale pattern is on side D. <clears throat> so you're not rooting through loads and loads of pieces of fabric. You're actually finding... You just need to go to side D to find the pattern pieces for this. There, what I didn't understand here is it says here... There is no dress for the pocket. And I think it means there's no pattern for the pocket. So some of the translation might not have come across. But it then tells you here how big you have to cut for your pocket. So there's no paper pattern, <coughs> excuse me, but it is, it is drawn there. <coughs> there, are other, there are other patterns in here, like this one, for instance. There's no, for, what's, this, what's this one called here? The robe jacket. There is no paper pattern for the robe jacket, but it tells you here because it's such a simple shape, how to cut out the pattern pieces on your pattern paper on your own on that one. So let me just show you again all the different, right, we got up to there, didn't we? So look, we've got trousers. We've got a very unusual skirt there, the tuck skirt. I'm presuming it's got an elasticated waist. Um, with a little frill around the top. Warm winter wear. It's very much, well, that's calling it winter, but I suppose if you made them out of a lightweight fabric. Right, now, there's also a page here which tells you all about the instructions and how to use the book and everything. What I don't understand here, though, is it's got a definite bust size, 79, 83, 87 and 91. I think you just need to check on the pattern that you're making what size the bust is. The thing is, they're very, very simple shapes. So if you have done dressmaking before, you can do some very simple hacks on them. What did you say, Hannah? Sorry. You said how many books? Right, okay, and how many did you start with? Okay, a third of the stock's gone. A third of the stock of the book has gone already. We haven't even started the demonstration. I will, oh no, I've got to do fabric and then we'll go to Cara. So let me just do fabric. So, because we're concentrating on the V-neck knitted skirt, it's, anyway, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. These are the bundles. We've got all of these by the half metre as well. But we've done bundles of three metres for you. Um, this is beautiful. This is eight whale cord in purple. So it means, you see these ridges here, Elliot? If you could show those on the camera. It means there are eight of those per inch. When you see, there you go, you can see it. So if it says 16 whale cord, that would be much smaller because you get 16 of the ridges. A third of the stock of these have gone already. So you get three metres. Now, the other thing I need to tell you is look how wide it is. You're going to have lots left over. Or if you're just buying it as a three metre bundle, look. 
60 inches wide. 144, 144 inches, yeah, 144 inches, so. Uh, and it's what, 100% cotton? 100% cotton cordro. Uh, oh, well, there you go. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's not too heavy. It's not as heavy as a, wh a whale. Um, no, I've said whale. What's the big one? Jumbo. Not as big as a jumbo cord. It's an eight whale cord. Uh, also, Hannah's just reading out for the manufacturer. It says also good for dressmaking, coat making, toy making, and furniture. Soft furnishings. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, on my telly here, it's looking a bit blue, royal blue. It's definitely imperial purple. It's definitely that really beautiful spiritual. Uh, Cadbury's, yeah, Cadbury's chocolate purple. Okay, be careful because two-thirds of that's gone already. So that's the purple one. I've also got it now. When I was 11, I had some jeans and like a denim jacket made out of this exact colour. Right, made out of this exact color. Well, it was 1971, and very, very trendy. But then what I did was I made my mum buy some dye, and I dyed it this color. And then it faded. As these went past, it went more and more lilac as the years went on. Anyway, what color have we called this one? Cream. Um, I'm wondering if I'd call that cream, or if I'd call it oat. Stone. Stone, maybe stone. Oat, yeah. I mean, it's lovely, it's beautiful, but it's definitely not cream. Three metres you get in that bundle. Eight whale corduroy fabric again, 100% cotton. Beautiful. Then we've also got it, keep going through for that, keep going through for that one. We've also got in the blue. Now, I think this is the colour of my new front door. It's like a French royal blue, this. A third of the stock of this order went on pre-order. On the web, it looks very, very dark, apparently. Let me hold it, let me hold it up like this. Okay, let me hold it up. There you go, there you go. That's the real colour. That's the real colour. You can actually see the real colour of the purple there while we're there as well. It's beautiful, really beautiful. It is a royal, a royal blue. It is a royal blue. It's what, Elliot? Elliot's doing half sentences, I do apologise. Right, so they're three metre bundles which are all absolutely flying out the door. We also have all of those fabrics by the half metre. So I'll quickly go through them. There's the um, cream, what we call the cream. Um, Hannah's thinking lovely for teddy bears. 55 inches wide. 4 99 for half a metre. That's a good price. 4 99 for half a metre. That's the cream. I'm going quickly because I want Cara to have as much time to do sewing as possible. We've also got it in the blue by the half metre. I'll hold it up actually rather than put it flat. There you go. And the purple bundles are only three left. Just so you know, only three purple bundles left. It's beautiful fabric. Whether you're doing this project or, or what, what project, Three ninety nine for half of me. Was the last one three ninety nine? Who knows? That one's that one's three ninety nine. Nothing we can do about it now. Let's just see what the purple one is then. There we go. No, no stretch in the cord. No, no stretch in the cord. And say this again. Have a look at this one. So this is the purple one. That one's three ninety nine. Take advantage. It's not meant to be three ninety nine. Okay. Now the dress, the, the fabric that Car has used for her sample, is this, which is exquisite, brand new. Now, it's a denim, a lightweight denim. I call this. So this is a three meter bundle. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is beautiful. Now, if you, I tell you what, you know the other book, the other Japanese book, I know, uh, what is it, Japanese, the other book? The one that looks like it's set in Scandinavia. No, it's not, not Japanese, it's um, Jarlotti, Jarlotti. The Alice and Marion one, 
this would be beautiful. This would be beautiful in, for any of those projects in there if you've already got that book. 147 centimetres wide. It's not, it's not 147 inches, Hannah. <laughs> yeah, if it was 147 inches, that's 55 inches wide, I'd say. Okay, it definitely says on hers inches. 12 foot wide. Yeah, 12 foot wide. It's 12 foot, so it'd be going to meet a car and back again. There you go. Anyway, there you go. That's beautiful, isn't it? Three meter bundle, that's flying out. Okay, there's too many people. And no, there's no stretch in that. Too many people got, got, it's gone. Oh, do you want to do that one by the half meter first? Okay, there you go. Here's the one by, no, it's the same thing by the half metre. 3.99 for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? Three ninety nine, beautiful. That's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. Thank you, Lotta Jan's daughter, says Alison Marion. That's who I meant. Right, now the other one we've got in the bundle, which you haven't seen at all, is this one. Same denim fabric. Sold out. Sold out. Got it by the half metre, though. Sorry if you missed out, but just get it by the half metre. Six units will get you three metres, if you want three metres. They've just called it black floral denim print. It's not a heavy, it's not a heavy denim. It's not, you wouldn't make jeans or anything out of this. It's more of a, I just say really lovely, um, really good quality cotton. Beautiful. 3.99 for half a meter. Right, finally, we get to do some sewing. That's sold out now as well. Right, before we go any further, have I got any of these bundles left? I'm just going to... Right, there's four of the blue ones left. Oh, purple's gone. Still available by the half metre, though. Yep. And there's a few of those. Sort of. So I've got the blue, the purple, and the cream by the half metre still. And the bundles, I've just got a couple of the cre a couple of the blues and a couple of the um, creams, and that's it. Put the book in the main graphics, and we'll say hello to Cara. Oh, hello. sorry, I had to get through. I had to get through all of that. No, no problem, no problem at all. So lovely to see you first of all. Oh, it's nice to be. Oh, that colour yeah. really suits you, you know, that really, that jadey colour is lovely. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, right, so tell me about this book, tell me about this sewing and tell me about everything like oh, that. Oh gosh, um, the book is just lovely. I really, really like it. I'll bring it over here. Um, just from the point of view that if you've done a bit of dressmaking before, it, it is different. It's not like a normal dressmaking pattern. Um, so you will have to have a little bit of knowledge, but hopefully... Um, you know, after today, we'll sort of uh, remove any of the, the quest questions or queries. But if you have got anything, then um, drop, a, drop a note in. Yeah. Um, so there are 43 easy to sew and wear clothes. So they are very, it's, it is like a capsule to me. You know, if I was um, looking to do something and some of those um, colours are very autumnal, mm -hmm. um, you know, if I was looking to sort of do um, skirts and trousers and jackets and, you know, dresses like this, this is lovely because it caters for all of that. Yeah. I mean, and you I, can use other fabrics, well, can't you? Because they talk about tweeds in yeah, there and things like that. Yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, um, a friend of mine said she's just bought one of these books. Um, she couldn't wait for it. Oh. <laughs> so she's bought one and she's going to actually um, put um, one of the uh, la layered collared ponchos in um, sort of like a jersey fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when she goes um, camping or anything, she's got something to throw on when she comes back from the shower block and things oh, like nice, that. Yeah. So, um, you know, also toweling you could do. Yeah. Also the fleece, mm -hmm. you know, be really, really nice. But look at this. It's just got so much, so many different things, um, which is lovely. And also they are quite straightforward shapes and yes. everything. There's yeah. not 
a massive amount of darts and things like that, which is nice. And they do look quite different in the different fabrics, uh -huh. which is um, which is good. So, um, as I say, lots of different projects. And I know you've gone through these, but this um, uses a cord. I think it's more a jumbo cord. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, oh, my gosh, this cord <coughs> is just beautiful. Oh, it is really it lovely. It is so, it? so nice to work with as well. Um, but, you know, you've got coats, but very straightforward coats. You know, nothing but too stylish. Complicated. They're all stylish, very aren't stylish, they? Very stylish. Very, very stylish. And the only thing is, as you said earlier, you know, check each of the patterns for the sizing. Um, but when you're working with it, actually try it on. And I think we all, um, I'm very, very guilty of it. You know, I know what I buy when I go shopping. Mm -hmm. I know the sizes that I buy when I go shopping. But actually, that's not always the right size. Um, so, you know, if a pattern's sort of saying, oh, it's a size 14, you think, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that size. Yeah. You want to do it to the measurement. So yeah, make course. sure that you do it to your measurement. But there's um, one of the ponchos, which is lovely. Well, that looks, that's one that looks like it's made out of, out of um, fleecy, that one, Yes, isn't it? it does. Um, not sure. It says a, a wool compressed jersey. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, this one's using um, dyed wool, so you've got the check. I think it's got pockets as well, uh -huh. which is ideal. Um, that looks lovely with the, the hand's tooth. But again, look at those two. It's the same sort of poncho, but yes. the one on the left could you be dog walking, yep. being on your holidays. So on the right, you could wear that to a business meeting or to go to meet Definitely. your girlfriends for lunch or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and you know, when the evenings are starting to get a bit chilly, mm -hmm. you know, it's nice to sort of be able to just throw something on. Um, and I love the fact it's like with the hands tooth, they've actually got it so that the patterns, you know, at a so you've got the hands oh, tooth like going that way. On. Yes, so um, it just is so. And the, another couple of coats. Um, and they're not daunting, are they? Because a lot of people won't make a coat because you think, oh, I've got the interfacing, the lining, the collar. It's none of that, is no, it? No, no. So, um, you know, as you say, every pattern sort of runs through and there are um, detailed instructions um, and photographs, which is lovely. I think, you know, if you're struggling to follow something, photographs really, really yeah, helps. Definitely. So, um, so, yes, I just love the book. Um, this is a lovely dress as well. Mm -hmm. I think that would, would look lovely in the um, cord or the denim. Yeah. Um, and you can make it longer. You don't have to, you know, um, have the, the length of the skirt that or the dress that they yeah. say. And also, if we have a look at these two, um, a friend of I mine... Don't, can you, have we got pictures of those, Elliot, rather than showing... No. don't know whether you'll be able okay. to. Okay. I don't um, know if you want to see them because they're behind the table there. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get a shot of it. You yeah, a friend of mine um, made both of those ones and she did a bit of a hack. So right. she made one of them shorter uh -huh. and also put the pockets at the moment with the, the pattern that we're going to be looking at. The pockets are on the side and right. then um, on the one that she's done, she's actually put the pockets on the front. Oh, wow. Yeah, there so you, go. you can, you know, play around with it, um, you know, so you can have one pattern. But, you know, that's three examples and they all look quite different. Apart and from also, the it, you could be clever with fabrics. You could use different kind of patterns yes. of fabrics. And because you, it's in four sections, you could almost make it sort of that 60s look, do one side black, one side oh white, my gosh, and they just look really dressy for the evening yes. things, wouldn't they? Yes. And I think what's nice is if you find a pattern that you like, yeah. you'll actually make lots of different versions that, of oh, it. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, once you've done one and you're happy with the fit and everything, everything like that you'll you know make more of them so so yes I love I love the book but um, the instructions as I say are not as we would have the instructions yeah. um, this is the one we're doing and you've got the cord on this side and then you've got this one's in a herringbone think, yeah just in a little worsted I think that one yeah. Think, yeah and you know look how different they look with, with whatever you put underneath yeah yeah we definitely put, oh. we put t-shirts underneath yeah. but this one's got a beautiful blouse well so they're quite saying dressy. so for winter but these would be lovely summer yes. dresses just with like we've you've put your t-shirts underneath yeah Hannah would wear a red well no Hannah's now got a new bra shop opposite her and you can get oh. bras for three pounds so she comes in every day with a different bra on <laughs> but they have floral ones yeah. and ones to be seen sort of thing you, if you're younger 
yes. you could get away with that as well, couldn't you? Yeah, and I think, you know, I was thinking if you're on the beach, mm -hmm. you know, if you made it maybe out of toweling or something yeah, like oh, that, yeah. it's something to pop over the top yep. and, you know, you've got your swimming costume or a bikini on underneath. Yeah, you well, know, it's, it's like when you go get some lunch and you don't want to get changed exactly. out of your swimsuit, you don't want to get dressed. You can exactly. Just, you can make one of these in seersucker or a light yes. lawn or something, just throw it over yes. and go up to have your lunch and then come back again. Yes, yeah. definitely. So, yes, the versatility of the book is, is just brilliant. So, um, right, so let's um, get started on the one that we're doing. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find your pattern, and this will take a little bit of, um, not time, but just take, take your time to um, find the pattern. So, um, it does sort of state on here where the pattern is and everything. So, just on this bit, I don't know if you can see there, but it says full scale pattern on side D. Right. Okay. So I've got um, one of the pattern pieces. I've got C and D here. And there's a picture. Let's move that out of the way. There's a picture here. So this is the D side, and this shows you all uh, the designs. What's on there, so you're not floundering around. Yeah, looking you're not sort of trying to find it. And also in the book, it does say which pattern pieces. So it's saying um, number 24 and 25. So you've got your picture here, uh -huh. and it's saying which design it is. So we're looking at um, 24 and 25. And if we have a look here. Here's 24 and 25, right. okay? Um, the only difference is there is a front and a back. When I made this one, I thought, oh, they're all the same. But they're not. But they're not. <laughs> What's the difference then? How so the back is, is slightly higher than the front. Oh, okay. okay. So that's, that's the, the only, only difference. difference. Only difference is this, and so you'll see here. So the shape isn't different or anything like that? No, so don't worry about it. nothing yeah. at all like that. So if you look here, this line here refers to the front, uh -huh. and it says front ne neckline there. Yeah. And then the higher one, so oh, you've got okay. the higher V at the back, mm -hmm. and that's the back neckline. Right. Okay. Um, the arrow there is the actual grain of your fabric. Mm -hmm. So when you're using your cord, you want that line to go along the um, grain of the cord. So they obviously use diff the same pattern pieces for different like yes. you've got 24, 25 and 29 there, so there must be another yes. dress yes. that uses the same pattern yes. as that for something else. Yeah. Um, also, what I wanted to say was there are different lines. So you've got a small, a medium and a large and um, a double large. Yeah. Um, so that's all labelled there and it's labelled all the way around the pattern. Right. So you'll be okay following Are they it. different colours? Or are they no, they're not different colours, but there's lots of um you know the s uh, okay. yeah okay. so you know it's not difficult to sort of follow yeah um so if we just so we're looking at the red line there right. oh i see i can because i could see different colors so basically yeah. we're following all red lines for yeah. this pattern but on like number 26 you're following all blue lines and on yes. 11 you're following turquoise lines. exactly so that's quite good because yes. the amount of times i've traced off a pattern like that on a, on a regular one, I'm going along and suddenly I'm on a different, I know, I'm I know, on a different and it's pattern like, piece or something. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you don't know what you're going to be exactly. ending up with. So um, this is the pattern piece, it is full size. Crikey. Yeah, and um, I like dresses that are longer, so I've made mine longer. So all I did was I just added some extra at the bottom. Okay. If you find that you need to make it wider, it would be quite easy, and I don't know whether this is the right technical okay, um, you sort of thing, it. is adding um, a little bit extra at the side. So you, you could, could, yes, you could do that on this because yep. there's no shaping. I exactly. would normally say split the pattern down the middle That's and right, open and it wide. It, yes. But you don't need to no. because it, because the shape of it, you can just literally like take it. Up. And also that is quite roomy. There's a the space is. in there, isn't it, there? It, it's lovely. I mean, um, as I say, this one I made sort of for my size, and um, you know when I tried it on, it was it was very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but you you will find you know what's right for you. Yes. And rather because you get so much fabric rather go on the side of caution and do a little bit extra it's much much easier to, to make it smaller yeah. than yeah. Um, make it larder. Yeah. larger larder larder mm. <laughs> I haven't had any breakfast no, this exactly. morning. 
<laughs> so, um, so that's your pattern. Then what I would do is you're not going to cut that out. You're going to trace it. Right. And there is, there was, and I don't know whether there still is, some um, pattern tracing paper on the website. Check with Hannah. Yeah. Is it the plane or is it the, uh, which one is the it? The plane. Yeah, there you go. Plain, plain, plain tracing paper, there you go. And you get three sheets, yeah. three lovely big sheets of this. Yeah. Um, if you don't have this or you can't get hold of this, then um, I quite often use the baking parchment right. as well, okay, yeah. you know. Um, but it's not necessarily as wide as this. Yeah. Um, so what you'll do... There it is. That's, the, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So what you'll do is, again, with a crayon or with a pen or a pencil or something like that, you'll lay your tracing paper over the top and you, you will be able to see through. Let's move this over. You will be able to see through and maybe a light box or something might help yeah, as well. Yeah, you can, you can yeah. see, there you can see through. Yeah. yeah. So you can see through there. So you're going to trace that onto your paper and um, the size that you want. But as I said before, um, you know, better to be cautious and um, make it slightly bigger. And then, um, you know, when you've tried it on, you can actually reduce it uh -huh. in size. Got a quick message, uh, message from Kate about tracing. Oh, lovely. Uh, the pattern looks nicely laid out. Good for me, as my tracing always has an element of surprise when I come to <laughs> sewing it together. That is an issue, yes. <laughs> It's definitely an issue when I've been doing bags and you've got, you know, a, a book with a pattern and it's all different shapes mm. and everything it is. I mean, you know, when you're looking at this like that, you're thinking, oh, my gosh. But you do just follow your pattern and mm. your colour. And there's lots of labels there. So you've got all the sizes there. Yeah, I'd have a good look yeah. at it before you start. Don't just dive in and trace it straight away. Yes. Like, have a look at it and read what it says yeah. and things. OK. Right, so you've so, traced your pattern off. Now, it's quite simple because there's only two backs and two fronts. Yes, rather. which is lovely. So I've traced mine off. I actually, um, because I wanted it longer, I needed to just sellotape two of the um, pieces Sheets together. together yeah. And then you'll, um, there's no seam allowance included, so you want to add the seam oh, allowance Okay, that's on. important, that's important, yeah, because normally if you use commercial patterns, they've all got seam yeah. allowance in them. You yeah. have to add your seam allowance to this yeah. one. For this one, and it will tell you um, if there's a black circle and it's got a number in it, you need to add that to the outside. Right. So okay. on um, when you're going through your pattern, it will explain that to you. But mm -hmm. take your time, read the book, have a coffee, and just sort of take your time and go through it step by step. I think that's the important thing is yeah. just taking your time. Um, also, just the position of the pockets as well. Although you're marking it on this, um, you will want to transfer that onto the actual fabric. Yeah. Um, so that's your pattern piece. And you know you can keep that and use it over and over again, which is lovely. OK, so you've done all of that. You've cut your pieces out. You've cut your pockets out. And the pocket um, is just a size, but it's personal preference as well. Um, and then it tells you the construction order. Um, you know, for the, di the two different varieties, how to cut the fabric and then the pre preparation. And I, that's what I wanted to go through. And actually, Hannah, can I just ask you, could I have um, a cutting board? I haven't got one. I'll get it for you. Oh, thank you. Um, Hannah just came in to just move. Sorry. All, all, <laughs> almost all the fabrics have sold out now. So I can thank pass you, this to you still be a metre away from Yeah, there no, that's fine. You got it? Yeah, that's lovely. Sorry, I just realised I haven't got no, that's one. No, all right. I'll pop it here for now. Uh, Martin, more than a half of the book. No, uh, two thirds of the book have gone now. Is that right? I'm a bit confused. Yeah, two two thirds of the book have gone already, and we had lots of these. Okay, right. so I have actually done quite a lot of sewing, but I wanted to take you through the bits that um, you know I felt that you m maybe need a little bit more information. Okay, I need, just need to stop there. Lots of people are joining late and saying, the first thing they're saying is, what's the size range of the book? Can we just explain that again? Yes, Carla, certainly. Please? So on the sizes, you've got a small and your bust size um, is 90 centimetres in inches. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've moved my trolley now. Um, Wasn't so it 36? <laughs> well, hang on, how many, what did you say, 90? 90 centimetres. 90 centimetres, 35 and a half. Okay, and then 94 centimetres is medium. 37. Uh, 98 centimetres is large. 
at 38 and a half. And um, the double large is 103. Uh, which is 40 and a half. The thing is, can I just explain? Uh, in the book, uh, you have to look at each pattern. They're roughly all around that size. The largest I think it goes to is the double L is 116 centimetres, which is 46 plus. But different patterns have different measurements to them. So it goes, we made, uh, the one Cara made, we, we, we tried on a size 14 model and it fitted beautifully with a bit of space extra. So it doesn't go into the larger sizes, but they are quite easy to change, as you would Yes, say. to add extra at the size <coughs> and everything. Right, sorry, Kai, Yeah, that's OK. Um, so we've cut out our fabric, and we followed the grain of the fabric. Uh -huh. um, then you have the pre-sewing preparation, and this is what I've um, already done. Um, I've actually started using my overlock a little, little bit more oh i know i was like oh my goodness but i've used it on this on this dress and this dress uh -huh. and it is so good sort of having um you know an overlocker just to neaten the seams and everything yeah. which is nice so that's your preparation you would overlock apart from the armhole and the neck and that all the information is there and with the one that i've done here i didn't actually add any bias tape I actually made sure that I had enough fabric just to fold the fabric over oh, okay and then machine and mm -hmm. um, because the curve and also the straight is not horrendous yeah you you are able to get a really nice smooth so if it's the cotton fabric I would just fold the fabric over and then machine it and mm -hmm. um, with the cord I wasn't sure how um, easy it would be to do that to do, so no, I thought, exactly. and also if you turn cord over yes it has a tendency to do that kind of yes. um twisty sort of thing yes. doesn't it yeah. sandra in australia says it'd be great for pregnant ladies too oh yes ian thinks that they're, they're very stylish you could wear them over a cream polo neck jumper in the winter and lorraine thinks the show is fabulous this morning lots of beautiful fabrics well except they're nearly all gone now lorraine <laughs> okay oh, we'll do that in a second yeah we'll do that in a second yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I've neaten my edges, yeah. I've cut all my pieces. I actually wrote on with chalk yeah. what was the front and what was the back. I didn't want to sort of miss out, but you can see the difference there between the two. Oh, yes, yeah, so there is quite a difference. Yeah, there? so the back's a lot higher and then the front. Uh -huh. And then um, I got some cotton fabric uh -huh. um, to do some bias tape. Different colours on, on, on the website. You see, the thing is, you could either... Do a fabric that matches in perfectly like that. Oh, gosh, yes. Or, or a contrast. like this morning, we had that lovely kind of sunflower fabric and things like that. If you're doing it in a plain fabric and then you do, because you're going to see yes. some of the binding inside. You could do it in a really in a contrast fabric, couldn't you? You could. And I love that. I absolutely yeah. love that. When you're making anything, um, you know, I'd be tempted to do it in a contrast. Yeah. Um, depends what you're you're working with and everything. So um, I just wanted to go through, I may not actually, um, how are we doing time-wise? I wanted to get on with some sewing. Um, so I may actually just go through the technique of um, doing your bias. Yeah. So you'll take um, a square of fabric, roughly a square of fabric, um, fold it on the diagonal, and then you'll cut the fold, okay? Uh -huh. And then you're left... With your true bias. With the fabric like that so you're left with a piece like that fold it over like that and then you're going to and what I used was an inch bias so I'm just going to turn that over and you mean you cut it at an inch cut it um, the fabric to an inch oh okay, sorry okay. yes 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 yeah. so it was an inch wide like that I didn't change my blade, so I'm hoping it will oh. cut. Just. Okay. And then that's your bias strip. Okay, so you can pull that and you can see that it's yeah. got the bias strip. I used one of these handy gadgets. Bias binding maker available on the website. Yep. Yeah. So um, you would... But now remember, when you're buying your bias binding maker, if it says it's an inch on the bias binding maker, it means the finished bias binding is an inch, not that you cut the fabric to an inch. So the one you've got there will be a half inch, is it, or five inch? Um, I think inch it's one. a half. 
Yeah, a half inch one. Yeah. It's a half inch one. Yeah. It's, it's the size of your finished bias binding when you buy a bias binding maker. Yeah. So um, you'll actually pull it through and press it. I'm not going to do that because I do want to do some sewing and um, pull that through and that will make your bias tape. So I've got one I prepared earlier. So I have my tape already. And it's just such an easy way of doing it. I did ha have to join. So um, there are ways of doing the join uh -huh. as well, um, just to be sure that I had enough fabric yeah. to go around. I, I, what I would do personally is I'd go wider because yeah. I like to make, um, if I just explain this to you, but I, I like, I would make, if I'm going to put on that one, I would make it slightly wider because if you're going to see it, yes. then I quite like, the, I don't like thinking, oh, they just put a bit of binding in there. Oh, yes. they've made a feature of the binding yeah. in there. The other thing while you've got me is I've just got to say, remember when I said, this why was this one four ninety nine? Uh, the bundle was twenty ninety nine. It's because the pricing's wrong. You get you're gonna get the cream one at three ninety nine for half a meter, and the bundle will be twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one ninety nine. It's still coming up as the as the higher price, but you will be getting when you check out tonight. It's being changed now. When you check out, when when we take the money from your credit card later, you will be charged the same as the other ones. So you will be charged three ninety nine for it. Right. Okay, so um, although I've taken it a step further, your next stage will be to actually either turn the fabric over and that will be for the armhole and for the neck edge. Uh -huh. And you'll do it before you join the seams. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I've already joined the seams, but I left one of the armholes because I wanted to um, sew some of that. Um, you've already done your seams uh, on the shoulder as well. So as I say, that's your next stage is neatening there, okay? I've got a good question from Shelley. Could you make the back piece twice so the plunge at the front isn't so low? Yes. You could, couldn't yes, you? Yes, definitely. The, the panel sizes definitely. are all the same panel sizes, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, and because of the way the pattern is, you could actually, um, if you don't want it that low, you could change that angle. Oh, yes, You could yes, actually yes, yes. sort of do it. So if you wanted maybe a V like that, yeah. you would actually, at the pattern stage, when you're tracing it... Extend it out. Yes, extend it out mm -hmm. until you're comfortable and happy with that. So. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Glenys has just bought her fabric as well. I don't... Uh, oh, Glenys says she understands. What about this? Glenys has bought this, you see, and she said, uh, thank you. I understand that you've reduced the price. Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay. So I've already um, taped some of these. Uh -huh. So your next stage, um, as I say, to neaten this is you've got your bias tape. You'll take the right side of the fabric. Oops. And the right side oh. of your tape. And then just open your tape up. Just need to get a few pins. Extend the tape along the edge. Mm -hmm. okay. You got some. Okay. I might need some more. Sorry, I don't know if I've got any more. What do you need, sorry? Pins. You've got quite a few. Oh, up. here. It's oh. all right. You got them? Yeah. Those are, I've got the glass topped ones. But oh, no, sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, quickly, while you do that, Donald says, yeah. Morning, John and Cara, would I need a hip ruler if I wanted to get into dressmaking? Not straight away, Donald. No. Only, it's, uh, hip ruler's only really if you're going to do your pattern drafting. You don't really need one for the dressmaking itself. Wouldn't you agree? I absolutely love dressmaking. Mm. Absolutely love it. But I haven't done a massive amount. And I know that once I start doing it, I won't be able to start. Yeah. So you won't get anything else for Sewing Street. It will just be me. <laughs> I, I collect fabric and I collect patterns and uh -huh. I've got patterns of fabric ready for when I've got the time. Oh. So, um, but you I, don't need to hit, you won't need to hit ruler. No, and because... I would love to learn more. Oh yes, and I once, really you, once you get would. more experience, then it's ideal for yes. you if you're drafting or, or hacking patterns, but not yes. to begin with. Yes, so all I'm doing is just popping a few pins in there Mm -hmm. In fact, I should have started at the other end. Um, and then, should we do some sewing? Yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs> it's, only, it's only 10 to, that's all. I just wanted to try and explain, you know, as much as I could, um, you know, because the, the actual assembly is not difficult. No. It's not difficult no. at all. So... Um, you see, now, I don't pin bias binding. Do you not? Now, I don't know. Is that because I've... 
I'm trying to think of when I first started. I, I think at Wimbledon we were taught not to pin by a spine. Right. Pin because because it's got that little bit of stretch in it. Yes. If you pin it, it can ruckle up a little yes. bit sometimes. You should be fine on the shapes on here because it, they're quite gentle curves. Yes. But if you're doing a big curve, like if you're going round a curve like that, yep. they say don't pin, pin it at the beginning. But don't pin it because as you go round, it might move more than the fabric underneath that it moves. Although I pin it to start with, yeah. I take the pins out completely as I'm going. As going oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's just really to pin to get the um, edge matching. Mm -hmm. Now, this is quite a lot of fabric, so yes. just be careful. I've got that on the floor there. Um, so all Plumbing I'm doing... clean because um, Emma Hoover just... Oh, excellent. Wish you knew Elliot wouldn't do it today, so... <laughs> So I'm just machining along and matching the raw edges of the binding. So as I say, the right side of the binding yeah. is to the right side of the cord. And um, this, when you're using cord, I would tend to use the bias rather than oh, actually yes. just fold it over. Definitely, definitely. So you'll see that I haven't pinned this bit. Yeah. So um, I am just moving the... Yeah, you just take your time. Don't yeah. race. It's not a race. No, yeah. not at all. And don't worry if you've um, not actually sewn it on that creased part yes, yeah. of the binding because when you press it... Right, OK. I'm going to ask you... Mo asked a question about pressing cordway because every time she presses cordway, she gets a shiny line. Yes. How do you not get a shiny line? With um, either press it on the back, yeah. but if you do need to press it on the front, use a pressing cloth. OK. Um, and not don't use too much pressure yeah. on your iron. I don't know. Would you say I, the well, same? Well, I agree with both those, but yeah. if you're going to do lots and lots of corduroy, I would invest in a velvet board. Ooh, what's that And a like? velvet board looks like, you know, the old-fashioned bed of nails that they used to... If you watch oh, an old film and you yes, see the yes, circus yes. and somebody lies on the yes. bed of nails, right? It's like that. It's oh. like a, it's like a, a piece of... A, it's flexible. Yeah. I'll just explain. It's flexible, like that, like a board that's flexible, like hundreds, hundreds of little pins on it. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt if you press, but if you sat on it, you'd know about it. <laughs> and then you put the corduroy face down on the pins, press the back, and then all the pile gets... Bit, it's, you use it for velvet, mainly, because you don't want to get velvet marks on your velvet and everything like that. And I would, I would use that. For, if, if you don't, buy, don't go out and buy one if you're only going to make one dress out of corduroy and never do it again. Just use a pressing cloth to do it from the wrong side. But just don't use too hot an iron, don't press too hard, and just fluff it up as soon as you've done it. Yes, and it's very, very hard wearing. Yes. Um, corduroy is it will last I bet your trousers that you had lasted a long time I bet you grew out of them um, as a child yes before the accord I had corduroy trousers when I worked at Theatre Cluid in 1981 oh. I was very proud of my lovely turn up corduroy trousers then there's only 21 books left just so you know just 21 books left so this is um, you know you've got the uh, bias tape uh -huh. for the neck and for the armhole um, so you're going to do um, two lots for each of those and then just the seams at the front and at the back and at the side mm -hmm. and that's it. That's all there is. There's no darts, there's no zips, there's no anything else like that, which is so nice. Um, so you can do this very quickly. I think my friend, when she made that one, she said it took her two hours. Oh, wow. Took me a little bit longer because I got a bit waylaid on different bits and yeah. pieces. Oh, do you know, I think I might have found, you know, I said number 29. Yeah. The number 29 is a trousered version of this. Oh, Like okay. dungaree. Well, they yeah. call them overalls. Yeah. But there's like a trouser version of the dress Oh, nice. As well. So it's got the same top. I'll show you if you want. Yeah. Can, you, can we see this? Do you want to do this to this one or number two? So it's the same top as this. That's number 29, look. But then they've made wide trousers. They've called them overalls. But see, Hannah, Hannah keeps going on about she wants to make a dark ooze jumpsuit. That would be lovely oh, yes. for you, that. Yeah. Claire's back at the dentist. Oh, Claire paid a lot of money for a new tooth and then it fell out. Oh, no. And no emergency. I should have to wait till today to have it done. Anyway. It, that's awful if it's one of your front teeth, isn't mm. it? So, um... Right, so I've, I've just machined along there. You will press that. And as I said earlier, don't worry if you're not exactly in the, um, the fold of the bias tape. And then you'll 
press that over yeah. like that. And like you say, if you want to do a contrast fabric, it will be a lot deeper. Yes. Um, and you may just want a little bit of it to show. Oh, yes. So, yeah. um, but if you're wanting it so that it is just purely um, for strength and yeah. for neatening, yeah. then you'll press it like that. Mm -hmm. And the curve for the arms is not massive. No. So um, the bias tape lays beautifully flat. So that's how that will be. Actually, it's a good way, if you've not done bias edging before, it's actually a really good way to practice the first one yes. because you have no extreme curves. Exactly. And the more you get used to it, the more you can do extreme yeah. curves. And there's nothing worse than doing your first bias binding as a complete circle yes. because that is a nightmare. But this would be a good way to learn how to do bias, bias edged. Definitely. And once you've done that, this is one that I've um, done before, is your top stitch and um, your top top stitch. I actually top stitched from the um, right hand side and uh -huh. I was amazed how you hit it. close, I know. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, that was good. That was uh -huh. <laughs> deliberate um, because I wanted it to be the top stitch to be nice and neat on the front. Yeah. And I think in fact, I top stitched it with a navy, but you can't really see with the, the corduroy. No. You can't see at all. Just go a shade darker than your fabric. Yes. That's always the trick Yes, there. unless you want it to be a feature. Of course. And then if you've got your contrast binding on the inside, side mm -hmm. you you know maybe it's a pink floral or something you might want might want a nice pink one mm -hmm. on the front so but that then you've got to have confidence then with your yes. top stitch there don't yeah. you yeah. donald says what level of beginner would suit this book uh it, we saying donald not a complete beginner yeah. because it's it's it, there's there are things that you might you you might you you might need to have sewn some other dress patterns before you do this so we're not saying total beginner but a confident beginner maybe Okay, and then you'll um, sew, so you're following, again, you're just following through, so it explains about the um, bias tape. The other thing is, I noticed with this book, is it has numbers for the order. So it's telling you, this is um, three, this is four, right. and then it tells you the number and the order that you do something, but it's not obvious always. Uh, you know, it doesn't go one, two, three, four, it, your number one could be here, your number two could be here, your number three could be here, your number four. So just follow that. Yeah. Um, so that's, um, so we've done that bit. Then you'll do the seam down the front and it shows you about opening the seam at the front. Got my seam there. Opening your seam at the front and then you can stitch that down as well. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> it's back it. there in big capital letters. Yes. <laughs> That's my back. Um, and then you'll do the side seams as well. Mm -hmm. So it will tell you all of that, um, doing the side seams. And um, then you'll place your pocket. And as I said, on this one, the pocket is across the side there. But you may go, find... Does it go over the side seam? Yes, it okay. goes over the side seam. So it really is down the side there. Uh -huh. um, and the lovely deep pockets as well. So the pocket... Um, whoops. So I've zigzagged all the way around. You can do that on a normal machine as well. Mm -hmm. I've folded over the top of the pocket and then your top stitch across there. And then you'll fold in the sides yeah. and fold up the bottom. Uh, is it and kept then square? Pen You're not doing a curved bottom? No, a no. Yeah, you could easier. if you wanted to. Well, no, no, but on cordure it's easier to do yes, square. Yes, much, much yeah. easier. Um, so they will actually explain about that's yeah. one of the last things that you do is your pockets on the actual garment itself. You can play around with the position of the pocket. You know, if you wanted it lower down, you could mm -hmm. do. Um, you don't have to have it in exactly the same place. And I've actually brought my pocket so it's further forward. And there's only a little bit at the back because yeah. I thought, well, you know, yeah, I don't want to be don't going around well, the back. Well, that's because you're making them like back pockets, yes. like put your purse in or something. Yes, but yeah. yeah. I mean, it just, you know, there's lots. And the other one over there is actually, you've got front pocket. Yeah. So, um, and then you'll do your hem, you'll do your zigzag all around the bottom. Was it just a, a zigzag and a turn up? Zigzag and a turn up. Um, the actual, I think it's two and a half um, centimetres. So it's about an inch sort of hem on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so that's it, really. Also, do you know what I might be tempted to do is if I've used, so say you've done the, ble, pe, the blue corduroy and you've done a contrast bias binding around the oh, arms yes. and the neck, 
I'd be tempted to do a bias binding on the inside of the hem as well. So every now and then you just get a yes. flash of the same bias binding yes. that you get around your yes. arms. Because it, you're not hiding it. It's not no. one that you've hidden. No, you're making it a feature. And you can do the same with the pocket. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could do a lining in the pocket with the same fabric that you've used for your bias tape. So. Brilliant. Laureen says, what an excellent show this is, Cara. Oh, thank you. Very, lots of helpful, lots of very helpful information and advice from Cara and John. <laughs> Cara is so clear in her explanation and a real inspiration to try these patterns. Aww. Thank you so much, Cara, for sharing my your expertise. My pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Aww. If you get as much pleasure... I started dressmaking when I was about nine, Crikey. nine or ten. Did you have an old treadle in those days? I, I had an old black singer, <laughs> you know, with a, a knee... Um, a knee... Yeah, yeah knee lift. Um, knee control for the speed yeah oh, oh and, crikey yeah but we did we did sewing at school at, at junior school and i can remember my first garment making my first garment when i was about sort of nine or <gasps> wow. ten at school and then i carried on when i went to secondary school and everything and i just love it i really do and as i say i know i'm going to be addicted if i start doing no, this no, making that will be it no more no more toys no, no more no, bags no you can't be saying no that. more no 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 what you have to do is you have to do twice as many shows you have to do your toy <laughs> shows and your bag shows and your dressmaking shows i'll do i'll do i will be doing dressmaking and i've been oh just some of the patterns i've had to buy as soon as i've seen them oh. because i've just thought oh, one day one thing. One uh, right, so Cara's back in there, not doing dressmaking, she's going to be in the bag. <laughs> but it's a bag with, um, oh, yes. I could show you, it's, it was behind you, it was from another book, but you, there it is. You're oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, there you go, picture, got a picture, don't worry, oh, Cara. But fine. it's got that amazing star design in the middle, and it all, it's all cut, there's a book and a panel to go with to show you how to do it. Or the panel and the book to show you how to do it. Right, very quickly then, last, um, last, uh, what am I trying to say? Don't Round know. up on the book, twelve ninety nine. How many are left? There are eight left. Once you all checked out, there are eight left. There's lots and lots and lots in baskets, but you need to check out if you want that because there's only eight. Not there's eight available once everyone's checked out, and we had quite a few of these. We had more of these than we normally have of a book. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. It's Cotton Friend sewing. Well, it's the clothes I want to wear this winter, Cotton Friends saying. 43, easy to sew and wear clothes. Right, fabric-wise. The cream bundle, three metres now. Has it been changed? Right, won't you change? It has changed. There you go. That's the new price, 21 99 21.99 you get that for. It's three metres of cream corduroy. Oh, delivery. Is it the boy with the lips that just delivered it? Oh, he's lovely. He's 21 99 $21.99. It's not cream. It's more like biscuity, stony, oatmeal-y, but it's lovely. Uh, 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 how many of these have got left? Three of those. Three of those left. Right, I've got the fabrics by the half... Well, not the fabrics. I've only got the corduroys by the half metre. I'll do, the, I'll do the, the stone first, the cream first. So it's 55 inches wide. It's machine washable. 3.99 for half a metre. I know, and it's wide. It's right that. 3.99 for half a metre. It's eight whale corduroy in your stone. Fabulous. Then I've got it in purple. If you come from Liverpool. Oh, we sold out in blue. Sold out in blue. Just got the purple left now. By the half metre. And there's about two metres left, that's all. It is purple, it looks blue on your telly, but it's definitely purple. Very emperor, no. I was emperistic, that's not the right word, is it? Cadbury. Cadbury. Other chocolates are available. Oh, look, Hannah just cut. I saw her doing that when she came in. So. Right, OK, here we go. Uh, we're going for a break now. After the break, oh, do check out on the book if you want it. More people ring. Oh, now remember, if you've got it in your basket and you haven't checked out, and more. so right, I've got eight. Right, I've got eight that aren't checked out at the moment. Right. Oh, there's more people got it in their basket. Now. I'm not even going to explain. There's more people want it in. The, the more people got it in their basket than we've got books of. So if you don't check out, you won't get it. It's as simple as that. There's people on the phone line now. They, if they say yes, I'll definitely have it and I'm paying for it, then they'll get one of those that could be yours. Anyway, after the break. 
We're doing bag making, not making anything. We've just got bag making kits and goodies and... No, not that, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot's having a bad day, everybody. Oh, poor old Elliot. Uh, we'll see you in three minutes from now. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that 
that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. I'm over this side now. Hiya. Now, we don't know. Well, well let's just start. Let's just start. It's everything you might need for a bag making masterclass. We're not doing any sewing or anything like that, but I've got loads of goodies. I've got PU, I've got cotton canvas, I've got uh, Becky Alexander Frost makes, I've got Bozel, I've got some clips, I've got some zips, I've got some lovely threads. We'll just start, shall we? Get your messages in, keep me company this hour. This, what? This is a mega bundle. Oh, I didn't know we did that with PU. Okay, so this is a PU mega bundle. No, this is brilliant. So you get half a meter of all of these colors, right? Gold, beautiful, oh my word. I've never seen anything like this before. We hardly ever do this, right? So you get half a meter of the, uh, these aren't the right colors, I'm just gonna say, these are the colors you're gonna get. Half a meter of the elephant, half a meter of the gold, half a meter of the navy, half a meter of the black, half a meter of the mushroom, half a meter of the chocolate, half a meter of red, half a meter of wine, half a meter of, I'm not quite sure what that one will be. Blush, nude, something like that. You got, right, I was sold out. <laughs> Sorry about that, sold out. I'm just putting it in the filing cabinet. Now, oh, this is a canvas bundle, the same thing. Right, now, if you want any of those by the half meter, just go and look on the website. I don't know if they're there, but go and have a look on the website. So this is the same, this is the same principle, but these, I love the, uh, our cotton canvases are brilliant. And I know I'm biased, but they are absolutely beautiful. They're wide, they're really, really, really good quality, and they're just so easy to sew. So look at these, right? So you get, oh, that's a nice jade one, isn't it? Right. Beautiful, look at these, right? So what you get is you get six meters, 12 different fabrics, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 46, 99. Um, now, so you get your mid gray, your white, your navy, your soft gray, your lilac, your darker gray, your black, your natural, now, I want to call that mustard, but it might not be mustard. Ochre, ochre, red, teal, and pale blue. 46 99 you get half a metre each, but look, they're wide. Wide. I don't know why I said it like that. Who says that? Wide. Wide. Oh, apparently I do it quite often. Wide. I must, it must be quoting from someone, but I don't know who it is. Anyway, look how wide this one is. That sounded even worse, didn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Gorgeous cotton canvas. Look at those. Beautiful. I should have a look at those, Elliot. Forty-six ninety-nine. Beautiful, lovely uh, cotton canvases there. Half a meter each. Now, obviously, all these colours are available. They're what? Sorry, sorry. Two left, two bundles left. If you just wanted the teal, for example, you can go to the website and look up cotton canvas, and if we've got teal, it'll be there by the half meter. You carry on looking at those. Forty-six ninety-nine. All the canvas. <laughs> it, well... I think that's a little bit naughty, calling it all the canvas. Oh, uh, when Hannah made it, this is all we had, but we do have other colours available on the website. Yeah, lots of other colours now. 
Gone. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out. They're all gone. They've all gone. They've all gone. Well, I mean, when I say they're all gone, you've more people in baskets got them than we've got stock of. Filing, Elliot. Thank you. You can do the antique. Yeah, these are about to go as well. Very popular today. These are by Sally Tomato. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. I love it when they do eight pounds. Right. So you get two D-rings, you get two swivel clips, and you get one slider. Oh, can you not see them? There they are. They're all the same colour. It's nice when they all match lovely like that, isn't it? Antique brass, but a base, not basic. <laughs> oh, I'm, I need my day off, then I... What's wrong with me today? Antique brass, basic hardware. It's because I was doing brass and hardware. I want to say... <laughs> anyway. Brass, basic hardware. That's better, isn't it? Make sure you go through for those. That's such a good price. I think they're priced wrongly, personally. For eight pounds, one, two, three, four, five pieces. I know. Oh, no. So we stirred it. Eight pounds. Beautiful. Oh. I've dropped a swivel clip. No, I'll, I'll pick it up when you're not looking. What are we doing next? We're doing the quilted PUs now. Uh, are you, oh, you're on me, sorry. There we go, right. Uh, quilted PUs, oh, got, oh, yeah, I've got two of them, the other one's in a bundle. You see that, have I? That doesn't look like champagne to me. Oh no, is that champagne? But that's in a different bundle. Okay. Okay, ignore that. So we've got silver and champagne. What number champagne then? Yeah, there you go, that's champagne. Yeah, that's silver. What, no, hang on. Yeah, yeah, so this is champagne. 4 49 half a metre. You can buy it by the half metre. It's not been cut. You can buy as much or as little. Crazy Lorraine's got some of this. She made some bags out of it. It's lovely. Got a message pat on my bottom. Amazing value for antique brass, brass, brass hardware, John. Um, I know. Eight pounds, I know. Thank you, Pat, from Staffordshire. Thank you for joining in. No. Very little of that stock at the moment because it's in. So now that one is champagne in that bundle, isn't it? So that's that's reject there. I've got. So, yeah, I knew we had silver. We just didn't have the white, did we? That. Yeah. Okay. Here's silver. It's wide. It's lovely. It's really easy to sew this as well. You don't need a special needle. Got your um. Fifo for this. Super soft fabric. Lovely to work with. Denise, thank you, my love. Doonies. Sold out. We will get more in. We will get more in. Commuter backpack. Okay, right. So this is the commuter. Uh, this is Becky Alexander Frost. She was on recently. Oh, we did we did this, didn't we? We did this one with you. It's behind you. 14th of July. This is the pattern on its own, but I'll show you the finish. Th oh. <laughs> there you go. There it is. Sorry, everybody. Here it is, the finished thing. Pat but this is just the pattern on its own, £11.50. If you've got your own hardware, your own fabric, or whatever you want to do it with. Then you can do, you need half a metre of your outer fabric, half a metre of your outer contrast, half a metre of your outer contrast, one and a half of your lining, two of your medium weight, and then uh, uh, sew-in foam or fusible fleece, webbing, quick-release buckles, 
zips and strap adjusters. £11.50 that is. It's brilliant and the, the patterns, her patterns, Becky Alexander Frost patterns are just beyond, beyond anything you've ever seen. Got a fifu for this already. Oh, no. lovely backpack pattern. Again, I chose to buy only the pattern so I can use my own fabrics. Looking forward to starting this one soon. Well, that was six days ago, Nikki. Have you started yet, Nikki? £11.50. Now, if you want the pattern and the hardware, that's here. Now, is this the one with... No, this one's all right. This one's all right. Yeah. Right, so in here... There's no fabric, but you get all the hardware and the pattern. You get the pattern as well. So this, really, this is one that Nikki should have got. I'm saying that. She might have a hardware, but look, 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 look. So you've got, oh, there's three zips in this one. So you get your big zip. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, for the outside. You get your quick releases. You get your webbing. You get your blue zip. There's not three zips, ignore me. And you get your instructions. Yeah, it's all there. Um, and then in there as well is there's a handmade tag as well in there as well. So everything you need hardware-wise and pattern-wise. And I guess she's also, this has it all made and everything. And uh, uh, the, the work she does behind the scenes is just unbelievable because it all arrives like 500 of these in a box, 1,000 of these in a box, 500 of these. She and her husband sit there putting all of these together. And, oh, and the zips arrive with no zipper pulls on them. She has to sit there with her fork and put them all on. I know. In a kitchen, come studio room. I'm surprised she hasn't been in touch because she's normally watching. She'll be busy making a bag. Oh, she loves those, um, what are they called? The little pink, Percy the pigs or whatever they're called. She talks about them a lot. And people send her presents and everything. I haven't. I thought she was saying the other day, she put, my very good friend John sent me this. I thought she meant me, wasn't me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Do check out on that one, though. That's, that's the best. You know what? To be honest, that unless you want exactly what we've made, that's the best deal to buy because you've got the pattern and you've got all the hardware because you might at home, like we've got this bundle coming up in a minute with all the fabric and everything, but you might not like yellow. You might not want Alice in Wonderland sits staring at you. Yeah, and the bundle of the fabric is just the fabric. Just the fabric. So, I, I, so yeah. And also you might not want, pick may not, may not. What is wrong with me today? I so need a day off. Pet <laughs> not, not, not. Fabric on its own. So there's your two outer fabrics. There's your PU fabric. There's your lining fabric. No pattern, no hardware, just the fabrics. Now you might want to make something else out of that. You might want to make a tote bag out of that. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. You can tell Elliot's had coffee now because he won't stop talking. He's a little bit worried though, because in the morning, before he even gets, he gets out of bed, he drinks two pints of water and has a black coffee from his not his cafetiere, his um, old-fashioned round the wall. You know, like um, Starsky and Hutch have those coffee. You like that? Drinks a big mug of that. Then he comes in here, and the first thing he does when he walks through the door, apart from insult me, is then make coffee. Then make coffee. And he's had two cups. He has yet to visit the little boy's room. I know. Sandal's sold out. No. What is wrong? Not that sandal. That sandal has not fold out. That bundle <laughs> sold out. I do apologise. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is... No, the, no, you haven't got the haberdashery because there's loads missing out of this bag. Okay, right. Right, okay, so it makes this bag, 
when you use your own fabric. What's it called? The walk with me bag. But in here, there should be D rings, lobster class. Oh, okay, I'm confused. I'm confused. Right, okay. Ours arrived with the bag broken like that. So I, yours won't because we'll check it at the warehouse. So what you get in this bundle, here, I'm going to show you this here because it's listed here. So you get the paper pattern booklet and pull out pattern sheet. That's that. You get magnetic snaps. No. You get your plastic canvas base. You get your 20 inches of bias binding. No. Twin, uh, two D rings, a lobs, two lobster class, an adjustable strap slider, 28 inches of zip, metal handmade tag, 10 inch number three zip, and a metal zip end. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I, th I think, because what's happening, it looks like something has just... Yeah, something has just done, because the, that, that, is it that you think has done it? Oh, yeah, look, so maybe in the bits, you won't, you will get all of your bits in, I promise. We are going to get them to check, but, so all you need to supply then, if you buy this for 39 is your fabric. And it makes this little bag. Have I got it here? Oh, no. I don't remember making it. There was this one on with me. We didn't use that fabric, though, did we? Oh, there it is. Yes, yes, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. The picture on the on the um, pattern is of a robin, isn't it? We did their Tula pink, and it was lovely, beautiful bag, that one. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay, you will get all the bits, though. We'll have a word with warehouse. Have we got, we've not got that pattern on its own, then? No, not today. So I'll put that to one side because Hannah needs to sh do that to the warehouse. Living in loveliness zips. Kerry was in yesterday. Lovely to see her. Shin again next week. I think it's uh, the 12th or something like that she's in. Which one? Christmas. Which one? Nine inch bright zips. Now, they're random. They'll all be bright colours, but you, I can't guarantee you'll get the yellow one, the green one, the red one, the purple one, the blue one. I imagine you will go, but... No, no, uh, we've never seen them different to this, but we have to cover ourselves by saying it could be random because they could have run out the yellow ones and put, like, pink ones in or something. But you do get nine zips, even so, for two ninety nine. It's Sold out. Got them in pastel. Not, not called pink, Sandra, they're called pastel because you've got grey in there. This is the pink one, she says. No. <laughs> Right, there's the picture of the, but they could be random colours. You might get a lemon one in there. You get, might get a mint green one in there. The nine inch though. Two ninety They'll sell out as well in a sec. You keep looking at those. Living in Loveless, nine inch set of five zips for two ninety nine. That's brilliant, isn't it? Again, like Becky Alexander Frost, these all arrive in boxes and she and the team put them all in the bag, staple them together and put the label on and everything. The whole shebang. Now. Scrap bag, Living in Loveliness. This is done by weight, so this is totally random, this one. Oh, yeah, so we've got a pattern coming up here, the crazy patchwork bag. It just says you need the equivalent of four fat quarters. So it could add to your stash, that one, because it's just 50 grams. Yeah, see, look, there you go. The one on the website is completely different. They are totally random. All I can tell you is you get 50 grams, and they are Riley Blake fabrics. Designer fabrics, $8.99. I'm just in, no, I'm just intrigued to see what 50 grams is, you see. Oh. 
Well, that's like um, a fat eight, isn't it? That's like a fat eight, that one. What's the matter, Elliot? What aches? There you go. So it's like three fat eights, isn't it? Three Elliots. See, he's gone very quiet now. Because you're mean, John Scott, you're mean. If you could hear what he says to me at home. No, I don't mean at my home. He doesn't live at my house. No, the attic, the attic's empty now. They must have moved out, yeah. Next. Oh, crazy, crazy patchwork craft. Oh, I can't even say I've got to go and get it. Sorry. Is that better? No. <laughs> well, no, I did, have a, I did have my own trolley on the side here, but Wendy Orlando nicked it. Right, this was from... Catherine Wright, Living in Loveliness. Oh, no, I don't mean that. I'm making... <laughs> I've seen a lovely picture of Catherine Wright and of Kerry from Living in Loveliness. It's confused me. It's Catherine Wright from the Leicestershire Craft Centre. Leicestershire Craft Centre. Yeah, that's right. I did this. with. It's a lovely... It's really lovely to do this as well. Oh, is that long ago? 2nd of July we did this. But before that, she'd done it on the 23rd of April. So many have sold out. Obviously, it's just the pattern. Yeah, it's not sealed down. That's why I love about Catherine's patterns. They're not sealed down, so you can open them. We've all got fabric in our stash at the moment. This bag's a great way to use up all your scraps. And then have fun with embellishment. There we go. So what you need is you've got your bag front, you've got your pocket, your gusset base, your gusset side, and your fastening tabs. And then a full set of instructions here. Hang on. So what you need is... Uh, you need some medium weight interfacing, some wadding, Canvas for the strap if you don't want to make your own strap. Um, elastic for the side, that's completely optional. And the hardware, you need three D rings, a swivel clip, and a snap hook. I'll show you one here. So you got your two you got your two D rings there. That could be for your antique brass. You've got your swivel clips from your antique brass. And you have a different thing there. What was the other thing? Oh, no, we had a slide. Oh, the sli you could make a... No, you can make a strap that moves. So this is the only thing. If you got the brass one, that you'd have to do a different one of these here. Or you buy two brass ones. Yeah? Good value at eight pounds, yeah? This is 14 99 Obviously not the bag, the pattern here. Lovely pictures in here as well, look. And every single one is different because you just use your scraps to build up the fabric. Oh, did she? Let's have a look. Absolutely loved it. Uh, made it, uh, hang on, made it next day after arrival, I think that meant to say. Uh, changing the handles, thought they were too long. So putting bag on handles, great instructions. Get the slider, you can make the short, make, still keep it a shoulder bag, make it slideable. The thing is, with things like this, is they are totally and utterly. Have a, let's have a look at that then. Oh, look, that's, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, whatever fabric, you've got the Arnhem Marie Horner, some Liberty, some Cafe, some, what else? Any bright colours, a gorgeous, what is it, do I have to have it bright? I'd do it bright. Dan Morris this morning would look nice. Sorry, I'm just getting very confused as to Catherine's folding techniques. There we go. There we go. I've done it right. Perfect. Uh, the pattern is £14.99. There we go.
No, we put it over into the next ad, didn't we? Do you want me to go and get it? Got 8640. I haven't got it here because it's a car is using it in the next hour. 9.99 for one meter. One meter and it's 90 centimeters wide. And also it comes it comes in a bag that already cut. So if you buy three, you'll get three bags of it. It's not a, you won't get a huge piece all joined together. Fuse block. Oh, okay. That's a meter, but they're already cut, aren't they? They're, the ones in this hour are already cut. Okay. Oh, hello, come in. Oh, a a Hayley B brought her dog in yesterday. What's she called? Janice or something like that. Marge. She's just, she looks like Little Paul. When she gets angry and does that, looks at it like, she looks like Little Paul, the producer. Anyway, 8640. I haven't seen Paul for ages and ages. I'm not, I'm not in tomorrow though. He's in tomorrow, I'm not. Next. Uh, yeah, he got Goz W83. There you go. So now this is called White Extra Heavy Sewing Interlining. <coughs> It's a metre in the length and it's 30 centimetres wide. Well and truly packed this one. Now, it feels like cardboard. You know that kind of... Um, there you go, look. This is what you get. <coughs> I think it'd be great, good for making like um, little boxes, little trinkets, little handbags. It'll just give that. It's a sew-in, isn't it? It's not an iron in this one. It's a sew-in interlining. Oh, I know. Bag bases. Pelmets would be good. Excuse me, itchy nose. Pelmets, 449. No, no, your pelmets aren't 449. You can make pelmets with it, 449. Four, four, <laughs> I do apologise. I'll be all right tomorrow. Textile art postcards. Collage bags. That's why I'll be better. 4.49. Elliot's in tomorrow, everyone. You pay to pay and pay, just add it to your order. You don't pay anymore. No, try it. Try it. If you well, uh, the thing is uh, that you're not a oh, waistband. You can put it in a waistband. Put it in a, a, a skirt waistband if you wanted to. Just try it out for four forty nine. Add it to your order. If you're not going to use it, give it to a friend. Storage tubs, base of bags, sturdy bags. What kind of needle would I use for this? A 16, I'd say a 16, or what's those ones with extra sharp tips? Have they quilting needles, have they? I think that, um, I wouldn't use a leather needle because I think a leather needle would create um, perforations in it, but I'd definitely use a size 16. I'm sure if Gary was here, he'd say any size as long as it's sharp. <laughs> 449. Would you use to the shirt collar? No. Kate, I wouldn't. Uh, I could use it in the peak of a cap, maybe. Um, but no, definitely not in a shirt collar. I, I, well, first of all, um, it, I think it's too stiff for a shirt collar. Wallet, you could put it in a wallet. Yeah, Elliot.
Oh, okay. So Hannah's getting very, very um, creative now. If you do an EPP bowl where you put where you put hexes together and you make it or shapes together and you make it into a bowl, you don't take the inside bit out if you use this, and it would create a sturdy bowl. Maybe that's good. Try, Hannah's going to make one for you for next time she does this. Oh no, I don't remember those. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I, I knew how to do it, but I, I don't remember them. Oh, okay. 449. Um, I missed the last part of the show. Did I dream it or did you say Hannah was going to present part of the show today? No, I said she was going to do this one because she was going to do a bag making demonstration. <laughs> but um, she's not. Sorry, Sue. Move it on. One sided uh, adhesive. Styleville Fix. This is like your spongy. This is like a spongy interface in this one. Now, this is the one that um, um, Recky Alexander Frost uses a lot, this one. Like a bosel. It's like a bosel, like a soft bosel, this one. 6 99 for that piece. So it's half a metre in length. And it's 72 centimetres. Now, are these already cut or do these come by the half metre? I think they're already cut. I'm going to say that it's already cut into those pieces. And then if it's not, if it is joined together, you order two, then that's, you've got, it's not the end of the world, is it? But I don't want to say it comes in a long piece and then it doesn't. Six ninety-nine. Six ninety-nine. Styleville fix. So this side has got you can tell there's a there's a glue on this side. You iron it onto your fabric. And then it'll just kick and then also they, what Becky Alexander Frost does is if your fabric is say 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres, you cut this a little bit less so it doesn't go into the seam allowance. So when you're sewing the fabric, you sew along the edge of there and you don't sew that into your seam allowance. 6 99 for a 50 centimetre by 72 centimetre piece. And it's just cutting me up whenever he fancies today. Did you watch the beginning of the show? Make, make sure you go back to YouTube and watch 8 o'clock this morning. I've got a photo to show you. Don't show that. Just show the photo to show you. Enjoyed making for present. Now made one for me. Thanks for a great show from Sue. Thank you. <gasps> Sue, that's lovely. You've just used all your scraps in all the different ways. Haven't you? It's lovely. What's in the background? Are they those yesterday's ducky ducky goose goose? Oh, is it a cross stitch? Oh, it's not. I like the bag though. I'm just looking at the bag. Nicely styled photograph as well though. Thank you, Sue. That's I really love the colours you've used on that one. Now, is that the present one or is that the one for you? Oh, and look, she's used an antique brass. Um, are they antique brass? I can't see from here. They look like the antique brass uh, fastenings as well. Lovely. Thank you, Sue. So that's made from this pattern. $14.99. From Catherine Wright. Crazy patchwork craft bag. See, she's called it a craft bag. You don't need to use it as a craft bag. You can use it for anything, really. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh, now you know the antique brass hardware sets I was talking about. Not everyone's checked out yet. There's still a few left. I'll just show you those. Eight pounds. Eight 
Eight pounds they are. You get two swivels, two Ds and a slider. I don't sleep around the back, isn't it, the slider? Right, Debbie Shaw backpacks. This book is brilliant because, well, I'll tell you why in a second. It's from the Builder Bag Book and Template range. It includes full-size reusable templates. Well, how does that work, John Scott? Well, look, first of all, it's a hardback book. There's Debbie. And then, look, there's elastic. Elastic on there as well because when you open the book up, and you want it to be on a certain, stay on a certain page. Let's have a look. Say we're doing the laminated crossover bag. Pull the elastic across and it saves your page there the whole time. If, however, you don't want the hardback in there all the time, you go into a class and you're thinking, oh, I don't want to take all of that with me, the book slides out. So you can have it as your, as your softback book there. 15 stunning projects and endless variations. Right, I'm going to go just open at one page here. Right. Nautical backpack, right? Twelve ninety nine. This is twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Right. So you open it, nautical backpack, and you think, well, how do I make that? What you do is you get the templates out of here. They're reusable plastic templates, and in in here you get two. Come on, John. Doesn't take that long to get a template out of a bag. There you go. Oh, no, this one, we get one big one, sorry. One big one. This is one isn't two. This is the one big one. So you get this in it, right? So everything you need for the whole of that book is in here on this template. So on the nautical, see, on the nautical backpack, what you need is you need this side here. You need all of that is that one. Then you need that uh, sort of uh, quarter circle down there. Then you need that one there, which is uh, that one, that one there. And you need that one there, which is the flap. Place on fold, place on fold. Uh, and literally, it just has, there will be some pieces where she says just cut out two rectangles or whatever. But any of the shapes, like there's the pocket flap, there's the pocket, there's the bay. Was it the bay? No, no, there's the pocket there, the pocket flap. What else did I need on that one? That's the, oh, that's your main body there, placed on fold, front and back. And then, which was the other one? That, oh, what's that one there then? I don't know what that is. Corner. Oh, yeah, it's a little corner piece, look. Little corner piece there. So you can cut the whole thing out. I've just opened it at one there. But there are 15 projects here. But a lot of the ideas from each one you can transfer from one to another. So it starts off with all your techniques, introduction, understanding the template, what materials you can use, what tools you need, uh, making a zip panel, making a letterbox zip, magnetic, all, the, all of the um, uh, tips, uh, things that normally go wrong. That's like your, your um, what do they call it at the, when you, uh, troubleshooting, troubleshooting, thank you. And then these are all the projects, you see. So you've got your clip pocket rucksack, Lots of photos, look, as usual. You get your drawstring button pack pack. You've got your laminated crossover bag. You've got your piped rucksack. There's the nautical one that we just did. There you've got your bare pocket backpack. Simple drawstring bag. There's the corner ones again. You see those little corners that I showed you a minute ago? Quilted backpack, loads of things, and bound backpack. So all lots of them have different project, uh, different techniques in them. Bear drawstring bag. It is a dog, isn't it? Well, I just said bear, didn't I? Oh, it does, it does look like a dog, doesn't it? Tie pocket rucksack, very good for beginners. She makes it very, very understandable for beginners. Two-tone drawstring backpack. Cuddly bear backpack. See, that looks like the dog that was here yesterday. Anyway. Zip backpack. Convertible tote bag. Glossary bag. A little extra something. Perfect, isn't it? Lovely. At uh, 12 99 
I know, 12 pounds and 99 pence. Do you do realize this book's meant to be 17.99? Just saying. Just saying. Oh. Excellent quality book, templates great and easy to use, instructions clear from Debbie in the West Midlands when she was at work that day. Lovely book, very informative, says Carol in Lincolnshire. Thank you, Carol. It is all packed away. Now, the same principle, but satchels now. Here we go. Exactly the same principle, 15 satchels, 12 99 There's your um, templates, 15 projects in here for different kinds of satchels or messenger bags. 12 99 Again, lots and lots of pictures. Mini satchel, big bow satchel, back pocket satchel. There's all your projects, and again, all the techniques at the beginning. $12.99, again, it should be $17.99. Lots of people have got that. I know that. Lots and lots of people have got that. And also, a lot of you add into your collection today. Extra strong Gutemann thread is here. This is for like doing your buttonholes and your um, jeans, when you're doing your jeans and things like that. And also bag making, obviously, because they've got it there on the front. Value pack, 15 99 You get five of them. It's 100 metres on each one. You get black, grey, beige, blue and white. 100% polyester. So it'll have a stretch in it. This is brilliant if you do hand-sewn buttonholes or if you sew on poppers or hooks and bars. I don't, I don't think I'd use it for, um, you see, I'm, I, I might be a bit thick for top stitching. I wouldn't use it for sewing together. For sewing, I, it's only it's only for like doing buttonholes or button thread and things like that, or, or if you're doing your gathering stitch using a very very thick thread and things like that. I suppose you could use it as top stitching if you wanted it to really really show. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it then. Uh, is it the same as that one up there? Should I just get the one off the shelf rather than open this one? Right, I'm over here, but I'm coming back. It's just I've got one already open, you see, and I don't want to open that one. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So, 42, 100 metres. So, 4,200 metres of Gutemann thread in here. You get one reel of all of the different colours. It, on the back there, you do get a piece of paper in it with all the numbers that you've got in here on. The 100% polyester, 100 metres on each spool. Beautiful colours, aren't they? I'll just have a look at this. It's rainbow of colours there. As I say, 110 yards, 100 metres on each one. 4,200 metres you get there. 79.99. That's Hannah, you can see in shot there. 79.99. Hannah was doing a bit of dancing for you, that was all. And we could eat. Did you hear that at home? Thank you. 79.99, Gutemann sewing thread. Look at all those. Right, OK. So how much do these sell for in the shop normally? Let's say on a conservative date, £1.50. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, it should be on the thing, isn't it? 42. So that's... Uh, 
Hang on, I've got that wrong. I've got that wrong. It's 100 metres. 100 metres. 42 times two pounds. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's right. That's what I meant. What did I say? <laughs> 79 99 42 threads. <coughs> I think it's time to go for a break. I'm, it's got a magnetic box as well. Magnetic. <laughs> Right, come on. I need to remind you. I need to remind you about this book from the last hour. Right, quick, quick, quick uh, recap. Twelve ninety nine. <laughs> I've never got that. I do apologise, everybody. I'll be fine in the next hour. I promise. I th <laughs> Hannah Mac got me a coffee and it's got all the wrong stuff in it and I still drank it and I think it's made me go a little bit too lally today. <laughs> 12 99 right, tell me how many I've got left, Hannah, please. Okay. Right, here it is. There are 45 not checked out, right? 45 not checked out, but there are 70 people got it in their baskets. So a lot of you, are going to, 25 of you are going to miss out, basically. And now if somebody rings up and buys it on the phone that isn't in the basket, then that takes one more off the list, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't wait till the end. Don't wait till the end. Check out now. You can check out as many times as you like during the day. You only pay one PMP for the whole day, remember? One PMP for the whole day. Brand new book. It's lovely. Now, I know you're going to ask about the sizing. Each pattern is different size. I would say at the largest, it'll go up to a 16 on some patterns. But they're very easy to hack if you want to hack. And we're also saying it's not for a beginner. But if you've done some dressmaking and you love, I'll show you the pictures because these are all the projects in the book, right? They're very, very stylish. Very simple, but very stylish look. That coat's lovely, isn't it? Ponchos with different finishes to them, with different necklines. I love the kimono coat. I think that's lovely there. Um, lots and lots of pictures about the making. Lots of uh, All the patterns are all in here, full-size patterns in here. Okay, please, 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 if you definitely want it, make sure you check out. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Now, very quickly, I've got these. Now, we've got a tote bag coming up in the next hour, but it's very, very different. Very different, right? These, uh, which one would you like first? 32. Here we go. Oh, actually, are they there? Are they, I've got them. I've got them. Look, right, so it's a panel. The instructions are on the panel. Here they are. This one is called your pink, traditional pink floral tote bag, including instructions. The instructions are here. Thank you. There's the pink one. With the facing inside there and the lining. They're fully lined, absolutely fully lined. 19.99. Nice quick make. Sometimes you just want to get it done and dusted, don't you? Or a gift. Say, oh, I'm going to go and see Hannah this afternoon. I better make her a gift. Nineteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Good to teach somebody how to sew because it's all straight lines. Sixteenth of July. This was demoed. Lovely. 1999. <coughs> so that's your traditional pink. No, traditional tote bag in pink. Loads. And also the instructions are there, look. The instructions are all on there. Beautiful. Now I've also got it in blue, which is 91. It's in the filing cabinet.
Who did it? Was it a Wendy Orlando one, this one? So this is the blue version. Was it Julie? Julie Kelly did it. Yeah, Julie Kelly did it. So that's your blue version there, 1999. Instructions are on the panel. Yeah, because she made a little makeup bag with this leftover, because this is leftover here. So this is spare fabric. And she lined it with the instructions. 1999. There's your lining in there. You don't obviously get the class. That was just um, something that Julie did for her keys. Lovely. What's the matter, Elliot? Elliot's thinking of going to university, he says. Right, and then I've got it in the turquoise or the jade. What have we called it? Would help if I could find the top. Or oh, they just called it green. Hang on. Teal, teal, they've called it teal. There you go. Very limited on the teal. This is the one that Julie demoed with on the show. What's the matter? Nineteen ninety nine. Right, do not go anywhere. Car is up after break. Now, we are doing a tote bag again, but very, very different. Well, it doesn't have to be a tote bag. It can be a cushion. It comes from a book, right? Um, these are the finished items here. Lots of these have been checked out already. You can make a bag or a cushion on the move. We've got four different colorways. And the pattern comes from a book, so there's lots of different projects you can do. Uh, within the book as well. Anyway, Cara is up straight after the break doing those. We'll see you in three. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford, also known as Sew Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric it's a good idea to make, some, make the garment in a sheet or a cheap fabric just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s and once I made a jumper for the singer Sade which was really exciting. 
Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since almost since it began and I love it there. We're like one big family and I'm on the show about every two months two months and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. 
Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Kara's back, Kara's back, Kara's back, and we're going to be making, oh, there she is. There, <laughs> just be wary, any, Elliot's pressing any buttons today. We're making either this, or, <laughs> or that, right? Uh, what it is, it all comes from a book, the pattern comes from a book. The book is called 25 Ways to Sew Jelly Rolls, Layer Cakes and Charm Packs. Very, very popular book, this one. We've got it back in. 16.99. 16.99. 25 modern quilts from contemporary pre-cuts. Right, 16.99. It's not even a pound a pattern, is it, you see? So I will just show you in here. Like the, we've got quilts and you've got projects. So there's our, there you see, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing there, up on the shelf there. So there's an introduction, all about pre-cuts, all about cutting your own pre-cuts if you haven't already got them. These are the quilts, right? Some are petals, made from jelly rolls and five-inch charm packs. Then you've got your circle squared. It's nice, isn't it? That looks nice, doesn't it? Then you've got all your templates that you need are in here as well. There's your flower garden with your templates, 100% size. Look, that's beautiful, isn't it? Crisscross patches. Merry-go-round, all made from pre-cuts. There's your templates there. So, uh, like for this one example, pretty pinwheels, you need a charm pack, a jelly roll, a jelly roll, a charm pack, 1.6 uh, metres of background fabric. Do you know what I mean? So you do have to put your own solid fabrics into some of them as well. But not today's project, because we've got it all in there. All your templates there. More quilts, more quilts, more quilts. More quilts, that's nice, isn't it? I thought that said shrunken then. Shuriken, this is just shuriken. Stars and stripes. Uh, Giant's Causeway, then all your templates there as well. Then, here we go, these are the projects. So look, there's the bag with that lovely starburst in it. There are others as well. You don't have to make the one we're doing. Easy peasy placemats. Winterberry table runner with your templates. Uh, Dasher bath mat. Uh, big and bold circles. Jaunty button down iPad case. Star oh, there you go. There's the bag with all the instructions that we're going to be doing today. All folding techniques. Gerbera charm, bag charm. Fairy tale pins and things. Look how much you get in this book. It's incredible, isn't it? Yo yo lanyard and card holder. We've got the Hexy Flowers notebook. We've got the Verdant sewing machine cover. There's so many projects in here, aren't there? Quirky cube bag. Uh, what else have I got in here? Cheerful carrier. We've got, and, then, and then you've got your techniques and your materials all at the back there. All for 16 99 25 ways to sew jelly rolls, layer cakes, and charm packs. Brilliant. Now, we have got five bundles. Now, the bundles we've, we've put together specifically to make either the cushion or the, or the uh, bag, but you can do whatever you want, because anyone that, because I'll show you. Let me start with red. Right, I can't see the hot, yeah, here you go, here you go, here you go. Right, let me put that on. Right, so here we go, look, so in here, you get a fat quarter of calico, you get half a metre of your uh, nude, or your beige, plus, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is half of your panel, and that's the other half of your panel there, look. 
This is the one of that one there. This is the one we used to make the bag that Kara's got over there. There, no, that one there, that one there, right? So what it is, is you've got all your two and a half inch strips going down, and then the bottom, you've got a big bit here for your other bits. Uh, Cara's going to show you all about that later, but there's your two and a half inch strips. And they are, look, the complete width of fabric. Hang on, not Cara, me. There you go. You do need the book. You do need the book for the instructions, though. Right? So that's that one. We call that one Red Starburst, that one. Red Starburst. They've called it Rainbow. When you get yours, it's called Rainbow on there. But just so you know, that's called Red, if you want that one. <laughs> I'm having a day today, Cara. It'll be fine. Right. Um, a quarter to stop one. Went on pre-order for that one. So that's the first one. Next one. Blue and yellow, is that be that with this one? So you get a fat quarter of your calico, you get half a metre of your golden sunburst, and then this is your panel on this one. So this is all blue and yellow. You can make a bag, you make a cushion, you do what you like with it, really. It's all yours. You might not even want to make this project, you might think of some other project you want to use. Because they're all two and a half inch strips. Fewer than 20 of this bundle left already. So you've got your blues and you've got your yellows. And then the bottom, you've got your dark blue spot. Oh, there's your dark blue spot at the bottom there. Beautiful, isn't it? So that one's called just called blue. We've called it blue and yellow on the thing, but it's called blue. On there, and that will make that one. Oh, you always come to me with us. I'm trying to fold up, Elliot. Thank you. <laughs> On the bag. No, that's a cushion, Elliot, that one. Can be a bag if you want it to be. Right, now I've got two other colourways. Which colourway next, Han? Two new colours. Which one's Cara demoing with then? This one. Right, so this one here, you get a fat quarter of your calico. You get half a metre of cream. And then... Look, so there you've got lovely blue. This is the one you're going to see demonstrated. No, I'm no it's not this one. It's but not this I've one. Got that one. I've got that one as well. It's not this one that's being demoed. I've got that one as well. We've got this one as well. We've got this one half made. This one's half made. This isn't the demo. No, this isn't the demo. It's the sample that's in this one. 1999. So this is your aquas and your, we've called it turquoise. And tan, turquoise and tan, that one. And what colour is your, there you go, and you've got that sort of petroly mid-blue for your finishing there. And then last but not least, the one that Cara's got cut up into strips on the desk. Have you got pink on yours there? No, 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 oh, no. Hang on, I'm, hang on. I'm, I'm actually, um, um, I was um, um, asked to do the blue and yellow. Yes. But I've got the, um, that one that you've got in your hand partly worked. Right, okay, so this one is partly made up, yep. but the one I'm about to show isn't the one that you're cutting no. out either. No. So what are those strips from then? These are from the blue and yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blue and yellow, right, okay. So this is another colourway here. This is pink and blue. So you get a fat quarter of calico, you get half a metre of pink, there you go, half a metre of pink, calico, and then the strip here, the strip set Goes from your darker pink to your paler pink to your lovely soft blues there. And then your surround fabric is in the pink. Okay? So make sure you check out on those because there's lots and lots gone into baskets. Fewer than 30, the pink ones. That's new today, the pink one. Right, so Cara, where do we start then? Oh, at the beginning. Yeah, please. <laughs> um, love the book. Um, you know I'm not a quilter, I'm not a you know patchwork or anything uh. like that, but this I would love to do more projects from the book because there are so many different beautiful designs to do. So um, I'm itching to sort of uh, go on to the different projects. So, But this is so clever. It's such a clever um, technique. Uh -huh. And um, it's wonderful having all the strips already there. So when you cut it, it is like, 
not a jelly roll, it's like a... Design roll. A design roll. Um, so, you know, you've got all of those ready. Um, all the packs that you've got, you can either make the bag or the cushion. Perfect. Um, with the bag, you've got the uh, design around the edge and then you've got the contrast colour for the lining. And you think, well, why have we got... Calico. Yeah, why have um, got calico? I'm going to explain why we've got calico. Um, but equally, then you can use the same panel, and I did the cushion, but I did the spotty fabric on the back of the cushion. Right. So you could be left over with some extra for your stash. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's really good. And once you've learnt the technique, and if you've got bits and pieces of fabric at home, you can make this very, very easily from, um, but the panels are just lovely because they coordinated. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's beautiful. Yeah. So very clear instructions for this particular, or well, all of them, but very clear instructions for this particular design. And again, just take your time, you know, have a read through and then just take it step by step. I'd never done this before. Oh, hadn't you? No, not at all. Um, so it is known as there are other names for this particular technique, mm -hmm. um, but you know, they call it a starburst. And it I've is, also known it as a folded star. That's yes, what I've always known. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. And you can make smaller projects as well. You yeah. can make little mats and um, mm -hmm. different things like that, runners and you know, lots of things. So, right. So the book. Have a good read of the book, and I'm going to pop the book there. Uh huh. Your first step is to cut out all your fabric. And this is the fabric that I've got left over from the blue and yellow. Right. So you have quite a lot of fabric <coughs> left over, which is, that, is good. Is that the blue and yellow one up there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you have quite a lot left over, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I've never used this before. So. Oh, the wool the pressing mat. <laughs> so you cut out all your strips. Uh -huh. And then I would suggest pressing your strips. Do I just use it like that? Yeah. All that is about the wool pressing mat is, first of all, it's very, very hard. It's not squidgy. No. But it absorbs the heat from your iron, so the heat goes onto your fabric from both sides. Oh, it's which lovely. Which gives it a double press, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So spend your time, and this is very nice to do if you've got a telly on or you're having a chat with somebody. Um, just all the preparation. And the preparation is key for this particular design. It is actually key. So you want to take your time um, doing the preparation. Right. Pop that back there. So we've cut all our strips out. Oh, that's it. Um, no, I don't need that yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then what you'll do is you're going to cut. And again, this is all explained here. So um, it's the preparation. And I think I said to you 257, yeah. I think, squares of <laughs> fabric that you're going to be cutting. So this is the thing that takes the time. Of and they're course. two and a half inch squares. So um, once you've pressed your fabric, you want to cut your two and a half inch squares. And this is lovely to actually do, um, you know, as I say, maybe one evening or something. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't want to be rushing sort of into the actual project yet. So your two and a half inch um, squares. And you'll notice that some of the fabrics have a slight directional print. This is like a herringbone. Uh -huh. And um, can you see there? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the other little, oh. oops, that's my, um, I will change my blade next time. <laughs> <laughs> I go through so many blades, I it's know. ridiculous. So you're going to cut all your 250 odd yeah. um, into squares and then you'll um, pop that there. You'll if take you've got your stripology, it'd be good to, if you've got stripology. Yes. Race through that. Yes, yeah. definitely. So this is, um, as I say, a slightly directional print. So just bear this in mind. Uh -huh. And what I would suggest is that if you're cutting this and folding this, is do it in the same direction for all of them. Right. Um, so for this particular one, you can either fold it that way. Okay. Right. Or you can fold it that way. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to fold it that way because I just feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I think the iron's possibly oh, a right. bit too blood. hot. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I folded that with the pattern that way. Yeah. But the next fold, and this is what you're going to do for the majority of your squares right. that you've cut, is you're going to then fold 
along the, f the line, there's my fold that I've just pressed. Yeah. I'm going to fold that down and then fold that one in. And what you want to do, can you see there? I'm not sure if Elliot can yeah, get in yeah, close yeah. enough. Okay. You see there, if I actually oh. left it like that, I'm going to be left with a little gap yeah. on that bit. I want to make sure that there's no gap. So you want your point to be on point. So oh, do it's it again. Oh, it's a slightly different technique than I know then. Because yeah. I, I know where you stitch yes. it down and yes. then no, fold it. No, no, this no, is no. done um, so you actually prepare all your um, triangles right. in one go. So as I say, fold that one. You, you have your raw edges matching as best as possible. Uh -huh. And then you bring the other one. And as I say, if you don't get it quite right, you're left with a gap yep. there. So what you want to do is just fiddle around with it until there's no gap. Right. Okay, like that. I'd use best press. Yes. Definitely. I was just button. looking for best press. It's so on that my side. Got, you want yeah, press? no, it's fine. But I would. I would, yeah. you know, definitely use best press. Um, can you see now that that's been folded and there's a lovely, lovely sharp point there? Yeah. Okay. Lovely. So you're going to work your way through and in, let's put this back. Let's press in the graphics. We've only got scent free at the moment. We haven't got any other, other flavours. So this is um, the actual time that you will take to prepare all your squares right. and everything. And I've got... So when you said the majority of, when yeah. you, do you cut the whole panel out? Yes. And you do this to how many of them? I think... If this is to 200, say it's 257, right. you'll do it to 256. Oh, there's only one There's you only do. one that you oh. don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, what you want to do is you've got a list here of how many for each round. Okay, now, look. if I can explain to you about the rounds. Yeah. Okay. And with the panels, you've, you see that you've got sort of shades of a colour uh -huh. and shades of another colour. OK, you want to alternate those. Right. OK, I've called it dark and light, but mm -hmm. it could be yellow and blue. It could be, um, you know, that sandy colour and um, So you keep turquoise. your two colours separate. You keep your two colours separate, unless you're doing the rainbow one. Right. And then you can just play around yeah. with that. So you're going to work your way through and it tells you how many squares for each round. Right. Okay. I just scribbled it down, but because I've done so many of them, I actually got a bit, I, I, I like my spreadsheets and uh -huh. things like that. I actually um, did a list like this. And if you can, or draw it and, you know, write it down, you've got 13 rounds in total. And then I've got dark light, or it could be yellow, blue, mm -hmm. or whatever. So alternate. And then it says the number of squares that you do for each of them. Okay, so how many are there? 13, did you say? 13 rounds. 13. Do you have 13 strips on the... Yes, so I think there's 16 strips altogether. Round one, you can use hardly any of that colour, aren't you? That's right, but you can use that further on. Oh, or okay. as you, you saw, I had some left over. Right. But because of the width of the fabric, when you come to your 32, you won't be able to get 32 out of one fabric. Oh, okay. So what you do with your 32s is you take two fabrics that are a similar colour. Right. So, for example, for my 32 of this yellow round, mm -hmm. I've taken those two. Oh, okay. So similar. Yes. Right. So for all the 32s, you'll have two of the patterns. Okay. So I do 16 of one and 16 of the other. Mm -hmm. So this helps you sort of just doing your cutting. Then as you see, I put mine in bags. Uh -huh. um, but if you've got, you know, I don't know, takeaway trays or something like that. Elliot, yeah. <laughs> Ask Elliot, he'll have loads of yes. spare. Um, then you'll pop all your squares in. And I actually just pop them into bags and wrote on the outside what num how many the number there? of squares that I've got. Perfect. So, okay. So this is all your preparation. When you've done all of that, then I'll show you what you do with the calico. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Dee said, uh, morning, John, car and team. <coughs> Loving the demo. Always want to know how to do this. Well, here you go, Dee. Watch carefully. <laughs> right. Let's move that out of the way. So with your calico, I don't know if you, you're, well, we're really getting Elliot to work on this one, aren't we? 
Yeah, there you go. Can you see? We can. Yeah, okay. So with, I wouldn't do it with a friction pen because you're going to want to press on this. So I've actually used um, a chalk marker. Okay. I'm not sure you've got chalk markers mm -hmm. on, the, on, the um, on the website. Um, and also, did have a longer ruler. I must have hung it up. Oh, hang on. Don't what worry, phrase? don't worry. Are you um, sure? I'm just going to okay. talk about it. So um, the first thing you'll do is prepare this square and they will tell you how wide to do it. And I think it's, let's just have a little look. Assembling the bag. Right, so this is the bit. So the round one, before you start, on your calico, in the centre of the 14 inch square of calico, yeah. draw an 11 inch square. Okay, right. mine is bigger than that. And the reason why I've done mine bigger than that is no matter how careful you are, you may find that your actual finished design is slightly bigger than, um, you know, the 14 inch. Right. So it's worth it. You've got enough fabric there. Mm -hmm. So you're going to draw your 11 inch square in the centre. Right. And then I found doing my halfway lines vertically and horizontally, or vertically and horizontally, then diagonally from corner to corner. Uh huh. Okay. This helps you with your placement. Right. Okay. The first square that you're going to use is going to be one of the squares, two and a half inch square for the center. Right. Okay. So that's your preparation of your fabric. Mm -hmm. um, this is quite handy. Oh, except it's come apart. Oh. <laughs> this is quite handy. This is the rotating mats. Just going to pop it back together if I can. Yeah, they're designed to come apart, but then when yes. you press on them to cut, they, they stay where they are. Yeah. So this helps you when you're doing your first um, centre. So I'm just going to find my fabric, move all of this out of the way. I'm making a mess. You can't see the mess down here, can you? No. <laughs> so this is my first one. And I've got, if you remember we um, cut five two and a half inch mm -hmm. squares. Four of them you'll fold like that. And the fifth one you'll leave unfolded. Right. And you're going to pop that square in the center of your fabric. And what is really, really useful is a glue, glue pen. Glue pen. No refills in stock at the moment, just a pen. But when you buy the pen, you do get one with the guess still the early bird prize. Still the early bird prize. Um, you get one glue in it and you get one spare glue when you get it for your five ninety nine there. Who was that just coming in then? <laughs> oh. Okay. So you glue your square onto the square okay. that you've drawn onto the calico. Okay. And then you'll take your four and your four are going to sit. Oh, so you just like put that, that square there so that if they do separate, you're yes. not going to see the calico, yeah. yeah. If you wanted to, you could do that a as a contrast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a pick. Oh, well, yeah. well, you've got blue and yellow. Yeah, you yeah. one of the yellows. So that's what we're going to be doing is actually building it up like that. Okay. Your horizontal line will help you with the line that you've already got in the centre of that triangle. And then the diagonal lines will help you there. Yeah. This particular one, it's very, very easy to right. do that. So and you're going to glue those as well? Yep. Oh. Glue those just along the edge. Just hold them in position before yeah. you actually machine them. So if you just... It is such a clever technique. Yeah. It really is. And not a massive amount of stitching. So can you see there? Okay, so that's my first round. Yep. I'm going to, on the machine now, is just machine round there. Don't worry about the colour of the thread or anything like that Not because this it. is going to be covered. Okay. And why you've got the glue on there is because when you're yeah. actually... Um, and also don't it. worry about machining through the glue pen glue no. because it doesn't clag up your needle or anything that's like right. that. The other thing, if you have got a walking foot, I would yep. advise it. Um, just from the point of view, okay, your first few rounds aren't going to have many layers, but as you get further on with the design, you're going to have more and more layers, and uh -huh. it just helps 
when you're machining. D, this is the turquoise one. D, that's your turquoise one there. Yeah, yeah, so I'm holding it like that. It's the turquoise one. It's turquoise and tan, the turquoise one. Oh, yeah, on the website, you have to look at the little corner to see the colourway of the one you want. Sorry. I'm blaming Ryan. Okay, so I've machined that for the centre. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to get rid of the thread. So that's it started. Okay, what you can do is press that again. Mm -hmm. And I would take your time and press every time that you've sewn something, just in case things have moved slightly. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so the next round, so I've done a dark, what I would call a dark yeah. for the first round. The next round is eight. So I'm going to find one of my little bags that I've already labelled with yeah. the eight and with yellow. And all of this, I'll show you in the book, is explained in the book. So we've done our first, so this is the preparation where we've cut, uh -huh. then we folded, and remember the little technique I said about making sure that you get nice sharp points. Then this is the preparation of the actual calico fabric, and then you start, this is your first one. So this is your first round, as it says here, round one. Yeah. So round two, you're taking four triangles from the bag. Even though it's eight. Yep, yeah. you're going to start on the diagonal and you're going to have that about half an inch from the center. Right. So you can either do that by eye or you can measure it. Once you've done a few of these, you'll get used to it. Of so, um, and here, do you remember we had this line? Yeah. So this line helps you get it straight. So see that one, you're yeah. about a half inch there. But if you just rotate that slightly. Oh yes, yes, yes. So you want your whoops, fold to yeah. be on that diagonal yeah. line. That sounds like you thunder. You can't hear that at home. No. Apparently. They can't hear that at home. <laughs> this sounds like thunder. Oh, on the diagonal, sorry. Got carried away there. So about a half inch and get your seam to go on the diagonal. Uh -huh. Is that Jacko? Is he called Jacko? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so take glue pen. Right. And you're just going to, underneath here. Okay. Just stick that in position. And the glue pen is wonderful for making sure that things don't move. Uh-huh. The blue and yellow that we're working with. More people in baskets and we've got stock. Thank you. Okay, so we've done that one. <coughs> the yep. next one goes over the top. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you can see, so again, about half an inch. Like that. Like that. And like that. And your best bet, if you haven't got an overhead camera as we have, yeah. is actually to stand away from it and look down yeah. and see if you feel happy with that star or shape. Or take a picture. Yep, or take a picture, yeah. definitely the one on, on your, phone. your left hand side needs moving a little bit, yep. I think. Yeah, on my left. Oh no, hang on, uh, right. Uh, no, on your left, on your left hand, that Here. one there. Knees moving where? Uh, in, and uh, 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 oh, Hannah says that. There you go, no, no, there you go. That's all it was, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> And again, you want to match your seams with yeah, those you see lines. Your, your line on your right hand one is not, not matched, look. The right hand one? Yep. Just That's because I'm not tiny above bit. it, yeah. Perfect. Okay. There you go. And don't worry too much. Oh, because no, it I'm won't, being pedantic. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't mind being pedantic. Yeah. Then you'll just use your glue pen and again, just pop bit of glue there just to hold that in position like that what I wanted to do today and why I've prepared the um, turquoise and the whatever what, tan, turquoise tan, and tan turquoise and tan is I wanted to get you further yeah, on yeah. so yeah because um, normally we don't we don't get, only to get row four that's right we, um, I don't know if it's worth mentioning when the other two shows were there was yes. one in December 
and I can't remember when the other one was. Annals tell us. Yeah. Um, so that's all in position. If you look at it from above, again, before the glue dries, let me have a little look. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Right, so that's all secure. So now we just, again, machine round. Okay. One was on the 22nd of January, and when was the other one? 10th of December. And got a message from Julie while you're doing that. What a great tutorial, Car what a great tutorial. Karen demonstrates techniques brilliantly. From oh, me, Julie, you. in South Yorkshire. Well, thank you, Julie, in South Yorkshire. I'm just doing Barnsley. Barnsley's in South Yorkshire. They used yeah. to have cheap buses in South Yorkshire. <laughs> Um, I don't know if anybody is watching who's actually done this, but I have seen a few photographs of um, designs that people have done. Oh, yeah. It would be lovely to see if anybody's yeah. got any photos. Because it is just such an unusual technique. This is actually easier than the, the way the folded I've seen stuff. before. Yeah. yeah. And they are similar, but not exactly the same. So I'm just going round as close to the edge as possible. Okay, do I need a walking foot? I, I did. Um, if you've got a walking foot, I'd use a walking okay. foot. Um, just from the point of view that as you carry on, you're going to have more and more layers. Of course, yeah. So I thought rather than change the foot halfway through, mm -hmm. I'd actually start with a walking foot. Okay. So now, because I've done that, I can move it around. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's our second round. So now we go on to the 16. So right. I want a 16 and I want it blue. Yeah. So, and you can play around when you first start, you can lay your strips out and decide which, which ones you, you want. Yeah, because yeah, on the rainbow one, like you've done, you've gone red, green, orange, blue, pink, yellow. Yes. But, but on these, you need just, it's nice to decide whether you're going to go for dark blue or a turquoisey blue or yeah. an aqua blue. There's the rainbow one there. Oh, Sue sent in a picture of the one she's made. Oh, fantastic. She'll have to wait for it to download, that's all. Oh. So. Now, also, just so you know, we have to finish a, a, a yeah. bit early on this one because yeah. we get to yarn later. Yeah, I'm so. just going to do one more no, row. No, no, I'm, I'm just, just so you then, don't um, do that one. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're now up to, that was round two. We're yeah. now up to round three. And round three, four, five, and six all use 16. Oh, OK. So I'm only going to show you one of them. Yes, yes, And yes, then yes. we'll move yeah, on yeah, to yeah. actually um, where it gets Now, bigger. that's weird, isn't it? You think it would get, you'd want to use more and more and more as I you know, got out. But I know, fact, fact no, it, got it opens then. up. It, it, it just yeah. opens up. OK. So do you remember the first round we did half an inch? Yeah. The second round is just a quarter of an inch. Right. So you want the big square in the centre, but then you're going to, so we're actually here. So we've done this bit. Mm -hmm. So we're on rounds three, four, five, and six. So you're going to take eight triangles and place the points of each of them a quarter of an inch from the points from the previous round. Right. And then you take the remaining eight triangles and place them in between the first eight. Mm -hmm. um, ensuring that the points are half an inch from, it sounds confusing. From the centre. From the centre, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start with the diagonals uh -huh. again. And this is where you want that about a quarter of an inch yeah. from there. I'm just going to place these on and then I'll glue them once I'm happy with the position. Okay. Right. Then you're going to do that one. So I'm just going to glue those ones first. So again, matching the um, seam with the diagonal. And the glue takes a little while to go off, so we uh -huh. can always move it around afterwards. But about a quarter of an inch from the previous point. So that's my first four. Yeah. So if you start like that and then build up. That one. It's very therapeutic as well. well. I can imagine. Yeah. And can you see on this one, this is where this was a diagonal print. Yes. And I decided to do them all in the same direction. Same direction so yeah. it's much nicer 
when you're looking at the final. Yeah, Jackie, thing. I agree. Jackie said this method is so much easier than the way I've done it before. I agree. I agree with Jackie. <laughs> okay, so that's my eight, and you think, oh yeah, why have you got another 16? eight? Yeah. To build it up. Yeah. So you're actually going to be um, putting this in between. Oh wow. Okay. So I'm just going to lay those on. Now I haven't got any lines to guide me, so yeah. this is just going to be purely with your eye. Mm -hmm. And um, even now, I can see that this, I'm not exactly happy with it, but... Uh, oh, why? I know, because I've actually done it. Might be all right. I'll talk to myself, it's all right. Yeah, that's I'll fine. I'll talk to myself at home and say, oh, no, that doesn't look quite right. And it's only when you've finished going round that you look at it from a distance and you think, yeah, that's okay. Right, so I need... Cool. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Right, so then another la lot of glue underneath. And if you're not happy with it, you can move it around. So this is your 16, this is your first 16. And as you do more of the rounds with 16, it will open up a little of bit course, more. Of course, yeah. Well, yeah, because you're making the circumference of the circle yeah. bigger each time, yes. aren't you? <coughs> And in fact, it's funny, when you look at the back, it's sort of like, oh, how many square? One, two. What's a six-sided six shape? Hep, hep. Ooh, and what's a what? What's a six-sided shape? Pent. Pentagon. It's like Is a it? pentagon on the back, I think, rather than a hexagon. I thought pentagon was five. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Hexy's five. Uh, one, two, three. It's hexy six. And it's Penty's five, is it? <laughs> oh. Right, from Go. a distance, does that look about right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I've stuck all that down. I'm actually going to give it a press before I take it to um, the sewing machine, just to be sure that all of that, to be sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because it's glued, I can pick it up and take it to the machine, and then I can machine all the way around. So what I'm going to do when I've done this, is actually is jumped the yeah. 32 um right while you're doing that i better give you a bit of a stock update because i know a lot of them are very very close to that you're not you can stay on cara for the time being but i'll just tell you about the colorways yeah the red one's the rainbow one isn't it right the rainbow one there are only eight left when you've all checked out. This is the one. That's this one. That's when your main graphics. There's only eight of those left. Okay. Lots of people loving the demo. You also get, I've only showed you the panel, but you also get uh, the fat quarter of calico and you get the cream fabric as well. The which one, sorry? The blue and yellow one. Oh, no, the blue and tan one. Uh, Right, there's more people got that in their baskets. Oh, blue and yellow, I've already, I've already put blue and yellow to one side. We've done that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Check. make sure you check out on the blue and yellow. Blue and tan. Turquoise and tan, which you're going to see a bit more of in a minute. Half the stock of the turquoise and tan has gone. We just call it turquoise, but it's turquoise and tan. And then the blue and pink one. This one here, the soft, this one's the soft, gentle tones. All your pinks there and your blues there. Quarter shot, you get pink half a metre and you get a fat quarter of calico. Right. Russell, Russell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's how far we've got. So that's up to your 16. You'll carry on building that up with your 16. Yeah. And can you see when I said earlier about this square, if you're not a quarter of an inch, you'll maybe find it's a little bit bigger right. when you finish it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've put Major extra fabric. Bigger, I just yeah. found that it was easier 
Um, but you can take your time and measure. Oh, properly. no, I just make, make sure the calico is big enough. So yes, you a bit more exactly, yeah. exactly. And then you'll carry on building that up. Yeah. So you'll build that up until you get to. So now we're moving to the turquoise and tan yep. one. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. So what number are you on at the moment around the outside? So around the outside and. Do you remember I said about the shape? Oh, yes, on yes, the back. yes, yes, yeah. So you can see the shape on the back there? Yeah. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So I'm on my ninth round. Mm -hmm. Where's my little list? So a ninth round will be dark. Yeah. Or the other yeah, colour, dark yeah. one. Um, and a 32. So I've got mm -hmm. my last lot of 32. And um, so this is all stitched together in exactly the same way, exactly the same technique. And now I come to my 32. And can you see, we were saying about choosing colours that are similar. So when oh, you come yes, to your 32. Yes, you won't get enough of 32. Yeah, exactly. so you can see that those are very similar tones. Yeah. And these are very similar tones. So you've got the, the dots and like the herringbone as yeah. well. And again, can you see, because I've done the herringbone in the same direction. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the, the dots are, let me have a look at one of these. So I think this is a 32. Yeah. I want to also explain about cutting out the um, fabric for the bag as well, because I know a couple of people sort of struggled with that. So mm -hmm. if we've got time, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> very, this, very how quickly. Many we actually got left a demo, <laughs> please. Right. Four to five of demo. That's fine. That's, That's fine. fine. Okay. So all I'm not even going to stick the stick stick this or stitch it. Yep. I'm just going to say, right, this is where we are. So we've got our quarter of an inch there and I'm going to use the stripy fabric uh -huh. and just build it up gradually like that and then the diagonals. So this is a 32 and I've already done a couple of 32s. So um, it's that one, isn't it? There. And this is where you just need to trust your um, instinct mm -hmm. where you're looking at it and thinking, right, I'm following the dots of the previous round first. Yeah. So my first lot of 16 is following the dots. Mm -hmm. um, that's a dot. That one. So I've alternated it rather than having two dots together. Yeah. So how many have put? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's my first lot. So the next lot will be following a, the dots again. So this is the stripes. Mm -hmm. And just work your way through gradually. Follow the instructions in there. You know, if you want to go back um, to the video that was on before, or I just really wanted to sort of show you how you build up to the yeah, 32. Yeah, and I'm doing it about a quarter of an inch, approximately. It doesn't have to be exact. And this is following the, the dots of the previous round. So you'll be able to tell if you've missed anywhere. So I've used up all of my stripes mm -hmm. and then I'm going to follow the herringbone. So again, I'm just going to, and I would normally just stick those. Yeah, yeah. And then, and this is where your line, you're actually gonna follow the line that's already there. Mm -hmm. So you can see from the center, we've got a line going through like that. And you know, we, we said that stitching won't show because you're going to be covering it over. Of course, yeah. Okay, so that's what you do. Right. I've missed one, here we go. I knew there was one missing. It's like a jigsaw puzzle yeah. and you think, oh, I've got a piece missing. One there. So I'm just gonna lay these on just to show you that's, and you keep building it up. This is the last row of 32 right. that I'm doing. And then I think we come down to 20. Right. And the reason why you come down to 20 is that you can see that we come to the edge yeah. of the fabric. So you're actually going to just be putting the triangles in this section. Mm. That's why you only need 20. So you want me to finish just laying that out like that. I can see I've got a couple missing. Yeah. 
So one there, one there, and one missing. Can anybody spot it here? Okay. There you go. Fantastic. So All then right. when you do the corners then, you yep. only lay four, if you've only got 20, you're only paying five in each corner. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's mm -hmm. when you go back to just a single pattern yes, of the fabric. Yeah, okay, yeah. Brilliant. so is that all right? That's so perfect. What wonderful. Do you want to show us very I wanted to show you now. very, very quickly. Sorry, I didn't use the rotating that's all right. in the end. Um, very quickly, the fabric that you have on the panel is yeah, enough. Yeah, which is the long section at yeah, the end. Is enough to do round the edge, the gusset, the back, and the handles. The handles are actually um, lined with the lining fabric. Mm -hmm. And so you've jumped back now to the blue and yellow one there. Yes, yeah, yeah. jump back to the blue and That's yellow. Fine. And this is roughly how you cut it out. So I don't know if Elliot wants to get down there. Um, but if anybody needs to, if they um, email the studio, I can send, I've got an email that I can oh, send yeah, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> That's fine. But um, this will tell you, so the, the 14 by 14 is the back of the bag. Uh-huh. The two and a half by 40 inches, so there's enough fabric to do the 14 by 14 and the two and a half by two. Like and a layout half. guide, because so you can get it out, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got um, one, two, three. Um, this is the gusset at the side, uh -huh. the bottom, and the other side. Right. So that's four and a half by 14 and a half. And then you've got the um, panels to go round the edge. Uh huh. And you've got two, two and a half by 11, and then uh, yeah. two and a half by um, 11 and a half, two and a half by 11 yeah. and a half, and then two and a half by 14, two and a half by 14. Email in if you want yeah. that one. Now, is it exactly the same as the cushion, but without the straps? Exactly the same, although with the cushion, you've just got the um, pieces the for around, around there. Oh, yeah, yeah. you've got the, the uh, gussets. Yeah. yeah, so um, that's, I actually found, I. I drew it out to be sure that I got it all on there. So before you cut your fabric, it might be worth actually drawing those sizes on there. Perfect. When are you in next then, Carla? Uh, oh, what's the date today? It's fourth. about the 5th, 4th? 4th, 15th. Oh, 15th. 15th. Will yeah, you be wearing a, a special frock? I might be wearing something different. Okay. It's Christmas. <laughs> Basically, it's Christmas. Right, book. Got to go very quick now. Thank you, Cara. Here's the book. Here's the book. Here's the book. 25 ways to sew jelly rolls. Right, okay, so that's the book. Make sure you check out that $16.99. Uh, the book from Cara's Lark. Right, now I can't tell you enough times now, I'm afraid. There's so many people got this in their basket. Lots of people are going to miss out now because I've got way more people got it in their basket. You need to check out. You need to check out. If you want that book, you need to check out as soon as possible. Okay? Am I going to do these, bun these bu uh, panels and bundles? We'll do the rainbow one first here. So you get a fat quarter of calico, you get half a metre of your, your nude, and then you get your rainbow panel. Beautiful. 19.99. Fewer than 20 of those. The uh, tan and turquoise, or turquoise and tan. Again, you get half a metre of your cream, half um, fat quarter of your calico, and there's your, there's your panel. Oh, well, I'm not going to open that one because there's more people got it in their baskets than we've got stock. So you need to check out on that one if you want it. And then the pink and blue one. Right, I've got to be very quick because I've got two customer photos to show you as well. So here you go. There's your panel. And then you've got your half metre of pink and your fat quarter of your calico. Third of the stock of those gone. That one's sort of been a little bit neglected. Thank you for a lovely demo, says Glennis. Here are the two pictures. Oh, I've got calico by the half metre as well if you want it. Just run that through. Two, 249 for half metre, pre-shrunk. Right, here we go. First picture. Morning, John Cara, Elliot and Hannah. I thought you might like to see the bag I made last time it was on. Jill from Melton Mowbray. That's lovely colours. Lovely. And then... Really loved making this last time. Cara demoed it from Sue. That Oh, there's the pink and blue one. Yes. Oh, I thought that was new today. That's beautiful. That's stunning. That We got that one. We've got that one still here. You see? Pink Starburst. Right. 
Uh, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu because it's not me tomorrow. It's Wendy tomorrow. Menu. Pre-cuts at 8 o'clock. So Girl Frida Dress and Top with Fiona Hesford. 10 o'clock Sewing Room Tools. 11 o'clock So Girl Betty Dress with Fiona Hesford. And then 12 o'clock Fabulous Fabrics. Right, we are off to uh, Yarn Lane now. Obviously, if you bought something from me this morning, then you can uh, come over to Yarn Lane and you don't have to pay an extreme fee because it's the same, in the same thing. Everything's on pre-order. It's 20% off book. Oh, oh, it's going on pre-order during this break. Going on pre-order during this break. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, it's going on pre-order during this break. Sorry about that. Uh, Hannah's had a bit of a handful this morning to deal with Elliot. Um, remember, if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook or on the web, you do need to now go and find the Yarn Lane version. If you're watching on the telly, stay where you are. We will see you with 20% off all books coming up in four minutes from now. <laughs> 